Welcome to Ember Fables. We are back to continue the adventure of the Fabled Five. And uh, what I'd like to do today is uh, let's go around the table and say who we are, who we're playing, and how we're feeling about where we're at. So, Rachel, why don't you kick things off? Okay. Do I need to look at a certain camera or something? You can look at me. That's okay. fine. Your, your camera is right there. Okay. If you wanted to look at a camera, you don't have to, though. Okay. I don't know. I'll see. I'm Rachel Markley. I'm playing Pearl Greenholm, and I would like to delve into someone else's backstory today. <laughs> Alex Markley, I'm playing Norn Gildefall, and uh, I'm uh, terrified, <laughs> presently. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very understandable. That's good. Uh, Hannah Markley, I'm playing Renya Geisildurant, and I'm feeling excited. I've been waiting to get back to the table. This is good. Uh, Craig Wissinger, I'm playing Shadow, and uh, I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Caleb Miller, I'm playing Jaren, and um, I'm here for a good time, not for a long time, so let's see what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay, got a new character in the wings. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to just start the day by pissing <laughs> off the DM. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Don't interrupt. Okay, sorry. Stop interrupting. <laughs> um, so last we left, last we little bit of, last we left off, uh, our heroes had uh, defeated a horrible monster in the forest, saved a little girl, made good their escape out of the town they were in, Karak, uh, before certain factions of a Sarabian military might had come into the city. And uh, before they went down into the mine, the abandoned mine shaft to get away from that Sarabian presence, uh, they met a Professor Herman Morosa, who was very creepy, very scatterbrained, and very, um, I mean, maybe he's a seer, maybe he's not. You know, he had some things to say, and you guys hopefully took that into account. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Um, so then you guys descended into the depths, had some conversation about where to go, uh, just decided to go one direction, found a fish uh, thing <laughs> dwelling in the water, and had some great conversation there with uh, an ancient being of uh, maybe notorious background, maybe nefarious, maybe great. I don't know. Um, you don't know. You don't know. Yeah, you didn't stick along around long enough to find out. So you left, and um, we're about two days' journey in uh, to to what you guys are doing, going down the, I believe, west mine shaft. And uh, Norin uh, had a had an episode. Um, he uh, he started. Uh, seeing things in his sleep and uh, everyone else was alerted to this uh, by his cries and you came to find out that the dragon gem is gone or at least not in his pocket anyway you know uh, maybe someone <laughs> stole it no <laughs> no it's probably pearl so anyways yeah <laughs> shadow wait wait Oh, green home. Shadow! You've got the rods! Y y yes Well... Uh, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, we will get to that in just a moment. Um, I would like you to roll a, uh, just a wisdom roll uh, for Birds utilizing roll. those. Um, and uh, Alex Norin is, as we mentioned, uh, running down these reddish, purplish stone hallways. Um, and they're just inescapably large walls and the blackness around you. Um, but of course you can see in the dark. And you have been hearing a like boom, boom behind you as something is pursuing you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will actually get to 
uh, your first uh, dexterity roll for today. Okay. Please. And no. thank you. No pressure. <laughs> Was that rumbling sound? Were we also hearing that? No. This is being lovely. Cool. <laughs> Not um, anything. What did you roll for your wisdom? Uh, just straight wisdom twelve. It's it's oh, the shaking okay. of his sand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So wise. As long as it's not um, the shaking of the cave that we're in. <laughs> so wise, dude. <laughs> so crazy so wise, wise, bro. Crazy so wise, bro. So the rods are going off, and are you gonna like? I assume sweep it around. Yes, and try as to if figure you're out where. Trying to locate where. Uh, they're honing in on Norin. That's what I was afraid of. What he is, your, is the uh, dragon gem. <laughs> the dexterity is plus six, so uh, it would be 25. Okay, yeah. Uh, you are going, and um, go ahead and do me an investigation check. Sure. For my please. Feel free, guys, if you're... Yeah. So, so I, 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 can't, I can't find it. I want to start. I just search again. Like, yeah. I looked the pocket that it was supposed to be, and I didn't find it. I just want to like generally search everywhere. You're just gonna toss Norin. I'm just gonna like yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Start checking roll, all roll pockets. Roll investigation. Twenty two. Twenty two. Show that. <laughs> so, I mean, she'd be the one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Be weird if any of us did it. <laughs> okay. Um. Norrin begins to notice that interlaced in the walls and floors and where there is ceiling there as well, there are these tendrils of pulsating stone that are, are pulsating a golden light. And they're running in a particular, like you came to a four-way section and they, they are leading off to the north. Mm. <clears throat> 18. 18, yeah. Uh, so, how does this look as you, are you like standing him up, looking underneath him, No, I think him, like if he's laying down, pocket. I'm checking his pockets, maybe like roll him to his side a little bit, like, you know, I, I check his bags, his boots, I'm like thinking like maybe yeah. he hid it somewhere, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. like um, stashed it. Uh, you come up with every single thing that was in his inventory. Uh, that he d d managed to get off the ship, except for the gem. It's not there. Are those even working? <laughs> Here, you feel them. <laughs> uh, can I feel his skin? Like, I, I want to feel, like, does he have a fever? Is he running oh. hot? Like... <laughs> Do do I? <laughs> that's so strange, man. <laughs> no, <I'm> like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's some like know. monk stuff. Does he, give, <laughs> does he give off the same feeling the gem gave off? Like? Uh, go ahead and roll a. Um, You're the worst. <laughs> what are they Bard? called? Medicine. Uh, medicine. medicine. <laughs> yes, thank you, Hannah. Medicine check. Maybe he just got really hungry in the night. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got the meat. <laughs> what is Nora doing at this point? Um. So, right. You know, I'm thinking, I, I, I'm gonna. Is it is it pretty clear that this pulsing moving off to the north, is it um, kind of coming from every direction, or is it coming from a particular direction? It's running from the intersection you're in mm -hmm. off to the north passage, and mm -hmm. it is like nowhere to be seen east, west, or south where you came from. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna follow it. Okay, yeah. Uh, do me another dexterity roll, just straight six. Dex. A six for yep. medicine? Six for medicine. So, uh, the medicine is as, as your uh, character uh, would understand that, you know, petting is is just normal. <laughs> so you're like stroking his <laughs> hair and like, you're like, what is, I can't. <laughs> I feel like Renya actually like. How do you do that? Stops her searching ball and just be like. <laughs> I was trying to see if he had a fever. <laughs> what? I don't know. I've never run into this before. Uh, 16. Uh, 17. Okay. I like him. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the. <Sorry>. Sticks out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, 
So the uh, golden pulsating stone tendrils uh, run off uh, first to the right, and then uh, there's a sh- there's an offshoot to the left, um, and uh, another four way, but it goes straight through, and then um, you come to a really long stretch of hall, and uh, it then shoots off to the right in a smaller opening, um, and you're still following it, I assume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so do a perception check for me as you enter this room. <clears throat> Thirteen. Okay. Um, so, Norin, you're, you're still hearing the occasional uh, but it is, it, it seems you have made some distance on it, mm-hmm. but it's still there as a presence. And um, you have entered a dead-end room, and there are these growths of stone off in the middle to the left and to the right. And uh, to the left is above the pedestal of stone a an orb of swirling light and it's uh, gold. And then in the middle, that's this icy blue, like it's almost emanating this mist off of it. And then to the right is this inky black with like tendrils falling and crawling and Mm. Mm. caressing the stone below. Mm. Uh, The golden tendrils run to the left pedestal where the golden orb is. Okay, uh, do I recognize what I'm seeing at all? Does it seem familiar or seem like anything that I've seen or read about before? You can make an arcana check if you'd like. Uh, okay, that would be uh, seven. Mm. You have no idea mm-hmm. what is going on here. Okay, um... I'm going to investigate the gold orb. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and do an investigation roll on that. And what is else is everyone in doing? Pearl, in, in your research of the gems, have you heard anything that might indicate what's happening? <clears throat> My research of the gems is non-existent. I pilfered somebody else's research. In your Pilfered notes of the gem research. <laughs> Does this remember sound? A whole lot. I'm just. I. I know that it's supposed. To supposedly pulls people in, but I didn't think it was just a mental. I thing. mean, he doesn't seem distressed. He's not. He doesn't. He does seem I, I distressed. He's, distressed. <laughs> he's like making noises. He's. Like, yeah. No. I, I don't. I mean, he's that. not wounded or dying. I. Okay. Well. <laughs> No, you're right, he's not. I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. He's petting him and maybe licking him, and you're <laughs> undressing him or whatever Checking you're doing. His pockets! <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Ooh. Yeah, I, I've kind of You just start nothing. playing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Soothing music. If, if we, if we can't uh, figure this out, we'll have to take him with us and go somewhere. <laughs> Um, Do we think? Do the monks know anything about this? So can you just? We should smack him and see if he wakes up. We tried that. We <laughs> smack him with a dagger and see if he wakes up. No. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Not the time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Read the room. I play when I'm anxious. <laughs> <laughs> um. So how does it look? Like what? What is Nora doing to investigate? this uh, pedestal and golden orb of light. Well, I don't probably feel like I have a ton of time. I got uh, 21 on that roll. Yes, so, yeah. But I'm I'm going to uh, probably, you know, walk around it to see if there's, you know, mm-hmm. anything to see on all the different sides. And Sure. Is it just hovering there? Yeah, so the uh, pedestal itself... The golden tendrils of stone have like uh, that are pulsating uh, come up and around the full base of the pedestal before then going up. And the the pedestal itself, when you look at it, is actually pulsating as well. 
and like every time the pulse goes through the orb is like you know i mean it's already doing this kind of moving and undulating roiling and uh when it pulsates it's like grows brighter mm. and um the uh the i mean you know you would kind of assume there's some kind of magical energy or something like that uh being transferred between pedestal and orb uh because of just the hazy like uh sometimes it's hard to tell where one ends and one begins right there mm -hmm. where they're connecting mm -hmm. yeah i mean um i would probably try to put my hand near to see if it feels like it might be really hot or something like that and ultimately yeah probably grab it um so you you are reaching near and carefully and um like little tendrils of the light will like kind of come out and just gently it feels like feather light uh caressing and there's um i mean it's it would probably s actually be room temperature kind of <laughs> feeling but it feels a little cool to the touch just because norin has worked up a sweat running here mm -hmm. um so it's it's not in any way hot though mm -hmm. So, yeah, they'll try to grab it. Okay, so you do, you grab into the light and it pulses and like fills your vision. And um, what's everyone else doing at this moment? Maybe. You've just put down your instrument again. I think we're all still kind of like hovering, <coughs> you know, maybe, yeah. <sighs> And a golden light will just pulse out of Norrin's chest. <laughs> and everyone's vision goes white as it envelops everybody in the party. And I need you all to make um, D6 rolls, please. Oh, no. Except oh, no. Norrin. Oh, oh, no. I don't, I don't like it. Oh. Is this a D? Yeah. It's the square. Three. Okay, thank you. Cubes are. One. You're right. Three. One. Two. Okay. Um, so, one, one, three, and two. All right. Um, I'm so scared. What does that mean? <laughs> the numbers, Mason. What does that mean? <laughs> okay. So here's what we'll do with this. Um, what I would like to do is I'd like to begin uh, with Jaren. And, oh, you know what? Actually, I did forget one other thing. I need everyone to make con saves for me. Including Jaren? Or including uh, Norin? I'm never going to get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need, I need, I need you to wear name tags. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm on a bad roll today. <laughs> Oof, you did. <laughs> Oof, you did. <laughs> <coughs> I can have my constitution, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, plus three. It was okay, in that so one, though. It was in that one, though. Oh, wow, okay. That, that matters. Okay. You have yeah. to yeah, yeah, yeah. in that one, Seven. yeah. Seven? Okay. I want to intentionally, like, I don't want to fight it. Am I going to die? Okay. But you still need to make a con save for me to Okay, know. okay. Seven. Wait. Eight. Okay. Uh, seventeen. Eight. Okay. Um, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're doing page. way better than so. I am. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Um. Yeah. We will. We'll stick to the original idea here. Um. I need. Jaren, Shadow, and Pearl at the table, and you two. <laughs> bye bye. Get, us, oh, get out no. of here. Get out of here. Oh no, we're separated. Something's happening. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. DM, don't split the party. DM, did you get yeah. the rules? You're never allowed to buy. So you got an eight. Um, yes. Yep. <laughs> and also eight. Also eight. Yeah, heard that. And then you got, got a four, that, that technically, one. but not one. And then on the yeah. D6, I, I we both three. got three. <laughs> yeah. It's a three with my. So, yeah. So. Cry about it. Pearl and Shadow, simultaneously, and only about 10 feet away, you guys wake up. And uh, you are, uh-oh, 
the word is either lying or laying, and I don't remember. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> you guys are lying in some of the most pleasant feeling grass that you've ever experienced. Um, it is immaculate, immaculately sculpted grass. And the sky above is this bright cerulean blue. There are wonderful fluffy white clouds. And yeah, you guys are waking up. <coughs> Am I gonna wake up in hell or something? <laughs> <laughs> so we can get figured out why. <laughs> I pinched Shadow. Ow, what? <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> he was just enjoying himself yeah. in the grass. <laughs> bathing in the sun. <laughs> but, uh, Wait, we were not... Wait? So I'd like um, to take out the rods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, Seriously. So you find yourselves, uh, the grass all around you is precisely cut to the same length. The gentle slopes all are even uh, all the way around. And uh, here and there, there are dug out little pits full of sand and uh, little we had a golf like, ponds. <laughs> and um, <laughs> off to the left, yes, it's a quiet <laughs> pond of a deep, rich blue. Um, uh, roll me a history check, uh, Pearl. <coughs> little pockets of sand, <laughs> flags coming out of the ground. <laughs> Nine. My dice hate me today. You're hit by a um, small weapon. Pearl <laughs> would know that you are in Norviton. You are just off to the east side of the of the city. <laughs> to the Duke in, the Golf Course. Uh, what is known as the the Greenshire Green. The Greenshire Green. <laughs> yeah. 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 And Wait. I, we're back home. Not my home. Oh, sorry. Um, wait. I is, do I have my broom? Do I have all my stuff? <clears throat> uh, yeah, you have everything. Okay. And are you like looking around for recognizable lands landmarks? Yeah, and like I'm. I want to hop on my broom and I want to book it as fast as I can toward the mansion. Okay. Dang. So you're leaving Shadow. Well, I'm gonna like Dang. look for it first and be like, come on. Okay. Um. I so know where we are. Yeah, so you are you're looking around and uh first off you do see in the middle of the green, uh a little ways away standing is an ornate wooden door standing by itself in the middle of the green. Which does not ring a bell. <laughs> um secondly, oh, yes, that door that they left there for that <laughs> art installation that one time. <laughs> <laughs> um, the okay, the street, <clears throat> cobblestone street, just a little ways away off the edge of the green, uh, runs down. There's the the dragon keep in uh, down there, um, one of the tall, imposing buildings on this side of town, and um, so okay. you are going to head west towards the manor, which is on the other side of town. Yeah. And at a considerable pace, and just yell to Shadow to come on. Let's go! I think I know where we are. Come on, come on, come on! Wait, 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 wait. Wait. What's with the door? Is she waiting? Nope. <laughs> She's just going. <laughs> okay. Um. <coughs> roll me a dexterity saving throw, Rachel. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> My dice are so mean to me today. Dexterity saving throw? Mm -hmm. Nine. Okay. Um, so what happens here is you are just going on a clip and Shadow is yelling after you, wait, wait. And uh, you glance back at him and maybe that was your downfall. Uh, you hit something. And your <laughs> your broom hits you fall fly into it hit and then uh, you fall uh, bounce off a thatched roof and land you take one point of uh, bludgeoning damage. <clears throat> what did she hit? <clears throat> a thatched roof. No, no, no. No, you hit a f like a force field, right? Is is you that? Said a, oh. you, you fell see, onto because I will give this to you for your passive perception. You watch as she collides with nothing in the middle of the air above this this house. Distracted flying. 
Go. A dangerous thing. <laughs> Don't text Excuse you. <laughs> Go ahead and make a constitution me? save for me, uh, Caleb. Can I pull out the rods? Yeah. Can you do anything? Um. 21. 21. Uh, no, they're not. They're not doing anything right now. Oh, that's um, great. <laughs> so, Jaren <laughs> will like <gasps> uh, come come awake, and uh, you see this beautiful blue sky and these clouds drifting, and uh, you are uncomfortably lying on cobblestone, um, and uh, yeah, off to your. Uh, right, just in your vision, you see the dragon keeps in. <laughs> Uncle! <laughs> can I stand up and try to go in? Where's the, where's the door? Uh, yeah, you can you can stand up and roll me a history check for yeah. where, where the door is. Uh, what's Pearl doing here? <laughs> Picking myself up. <laughs> Hoping nobody saw that. <laughs> Just kind of look around. Seven. Okay. Uh, you don't quite remember where the front door is for some reason. Uh, so you are wandering around. It's got this big wraparound porch um, out of this, this uh, like, it's uh, the building in front of you made from large gray stones uh, and blackened oak beams and wattle on top is somehow pulls off uh, looking both impressive and not foreboding. Uh, so it is four stories high, and uh, you are wandering around looking for the steps up to the porch. And that's when Shadow will see Jaren come wandering around the corner of this uh, building in the distance. And um, so, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to go for the door. Okay. You're not going to say hi to me? No, because I think that's going to get us out. <laughs> Like so, all of us at once, or anything. <coughs> you will, yeah, walk up to the door. Um, well, hi. Perception check from Jaren. And Pearl, what are you? Do I see him? You just perception check from Jaren. Yeah. Can I? I guess I want to try to touch it. I want to see if I can find it again. Yeah, you found the force field, and I so mean, it's like, it's like a a wall of just you can press a little bit into it, but it comes away. It pushes back. Thirteen. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, I'll give you this. You glance, and there there was movement, uh, but you see a door. Oh, even better. It's it standing in the middle of the green over there. That's not the door that I wanted. No, it's not. <laughs> but you just found the stairs too Good. up on the porch. So. Yeah, I'm gonna approach that. Are there any people around? No, not a soul. It's giving you flashbacks to when you were here last. Yeah. So you walk up to the door, um, and I will need you to make an investigation check, please. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, so this impressive, ornate, dark wooden door, um, and with a fifteen, uh, you realize it is locked, and with a 15, you also realize uh, that it is always facing you. No matter how you slice it, you can walk around this thing all day, and it is always facing you. Um, you come up to the front door of the inn, mm -hmm. and uh, it is locked as well. <clears throat> can I not? Go ahead, yeah. Hello? Anyone? You hear slightly like inside. And then steps. Somewhere up, up high. <clears throat> what are you doing, Pearl? I don't know, I guess I hop on my broom and head back towards Shadow. Yeah, you fly over, and uh, you realize that the door is, like, facing you at all times. What even if I when stand on the other side of it from Shadow? It. <laughs> okay. Like, even when I move <coughs> up, <it's> like <laughs> So you, you do this weird thing where you're flying over the door, 
And um, actually, I'd like to make deck saves for me for both of you, please. <laughs> oh, this been so mean to oh. me today. You said save? Mm-hmm. Oh, eight. 16. Okay, so what happens here is you are doing a flyby over the door, and like suddenly you are actually coming around the door, and there's Shadow. Shadow does that thing where a cat will like accidentally like react in the wrong way. So he like flips out and like dodges right in front of you. And you manage to like go low and skirt underneath him just like wait, wait, wait. which <laughs> <laughs> But now you're heading towards the dragon's keep in. <clears throat> okay. Do I so, see anybody? Yeah, you see Jaren's on the he's like peering in a window. Oh no, <clears throat> he's here too. <laughs> So, Did you try the door yet? It's locked. Of course it's it also is. really weird. It's always looking at you. I know it is. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Let's go get Jaren. I'm gonna run after her. Okay. Towards Jaren. So suddenly, uh, you see Shadow and Pearl approaching. They're coming up the stairs. There's Meanwhile. some sort of force field. We can't get out. I don't see anybody. There's also a very bizarre door in the middle of the green. Yeah, I saw that. It always it looks at you. Yeah. And it's locked. That's okay. Well, this one's locked too. I, don't like I it think, here. I think somebody's inside. I would oh. like everyone to make perception checks for me. <coughs> Gosh. <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> Fourteen. Six. Six. Oof. Yeah. I mean, everything is guys. awesome. Everything is normal. Can I take um, passive perceptions? <laughs> I mean, you can, but Didn't yeah, there it is. Um, so the steps get closer. You hear someone coming down. What you would know is mm -hmm. the main stairway and coming across, and then the door. <laughs> and um, your uncle, Stephen Arkwright. Uncle Steven is standing right here in front of you. And he looks a little bit, you know, more disheveled than you remember him. But he still has his, like, cape thrown over one side and, and like, this trim uh, jacket. And, and his hair is just a little bit out of place. Um, and he he's this tall, imposing elf uh, with gray eyes, and he says, Jaron, what, what are you doing here? What, 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 what are you all, who are you? Come, come in, come in, before anything happens. Come inside. <coughs> what do you Off mean anything brain? happens? Get inside, please. <coughs> He'll usher you in and, <coughs> what are you, what, where, where did you come from? How did you get in the gem? In we the are gem. in the gem. Okay. <laughs> um, Knew it. We have, where we were, somebody, our friend, had the gem. And then he had a bad dream, I think. And then he started making noises, and then... How long has he had light. the gem? Couple and days. what was he yeah, doing with days. it? Was it just in his pocket? That's, yeah. 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 Okay. So, you've been pulled into the gem. Okay. But the keeper of the gem is one of your party, is what you're telling me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Where's everyone else? He's going to begin pacing, and, like, he didn't hear you. Um, Excuse me! What? What? Where's everyone else? Everyone else from Greenshire. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, my name's Pearl. You, <laughs> Pearl Greenholm. Hello. Uh, it's I'm from the other side you. of town. Yes, and and what's your other companion's mm. name? Shadow. Ah, yes. Uh, good, good, good to meet you. Um, you're asking everyone else in town. Everyone else in Greenshire has been missing for two years. They're not here with you. I am the last one left to be holding off. It, it's 
Okay, so <laughs> wait, 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 wait. we are not the first to be trapped in the gem, and there is a force here. I don't know what he, he's been doing with it, people, but uh, he takes them, and um, the way into his castle is uh, the, that door that appeared on the green. Um, I I would assume the keeper of the gem is probably with him. With who? I think, uh, yeah. according to my research, it's one of the dragons. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. It could be... I hesitate to guess. I have been keeping the inn relatively safe, but I do not venture outside um, for very any length of time. But Jaren, Jaren, it's so good to see you. How how is uh, how's your your mother? She's fine. She's fine. Yes. Thanks for asking. But how are how are you? What have you been doing all this time? I have been staving off madness. Yeah. My boy. And it is getting to me. So if you could get the gem, that would be wonderful. Yeah, how bring do we it, get into bring the Bring it back to me. Bring it back to you. Yes. Mm. I know how to get us out of here. Oh, well, okay. We can get out. I just need the gem. Okay. Um, What's wrong? How are we get, what you want to explain that? You, how are we how are you going to use it? How are we going to get out of here? <sighs> Why should we trust you? I'm Excuse me. Oh, that's that's kind of rude. Not really. He's guy. been stuck in a gem question. for four years and somehow is the only one left alive. Two years, whatever. She said four years ago a bunch of people disappeared, right? Two years ago. I did not say I was the only one left oh. alive, Catman. I don't know if anyone else is left alive. You did say you were the only one left. Only one left, yes. Yes. In Greenshire proper. Where's what happened to everybody else? They've been taken. Yeah, so how did you taken. somehow manage to be the only one not? I have my ways. Mm, sounds what, shifty. Th what does that mean, Uncle? <laughs> I love you, but what does that mean? <laughs> how do we know that you haven't been tainted by whatever power is here? Look, I know that this is a lot, and it's all very sudden, but we don't have very much time. And if you're going to play the surprise card, you need to trust me. This dragon has everyone else in his castle, and I, I don't know what else to say on that front to get you to, to believe that, but it's true. Well, can I insight check him? Yeah. I want to do it too. Yeah. 17. <coughs> Dirty 20. Nice. And you didn't even... Okay. So, uh, Pearl and Shadow, um, there's something slightly off about what he's saying. Um... But generally, it's it's like he's mixing some, you know, it's fraying around the edges, his story. You know, it seems a little off. Um, look, I, Jaren, you used to help out all the time in the end. You, you were, no, I, no, I believe you, Uncle. I, I need that gem. That meddling little halfling caused all of this, and I need to get out of here. If he hadn't been in the way, this wouldn't have happened. What are you, what are you talking about? With the, there are a lot of halflings who, around here. Who are you talking about? The Dukes 
sun. Sun? If he had trusted me, we would not have had this issue. What happened to him? Well, he got pulled in as well. And then he went off and thought he could fight this dragon, or reason with him or something. I don't know, the fool. <clears throat> you still haven't explained to us what your goal is for the gem. What are you? Why should we trust you to use it? Why should anyone <gasps> use it? If you have the knowledge of the dragon gem, mm. if you know what those ancient wars were about, and why Muti is the giver made the gem in the first place. You are in a better position, I would say, to wield the gem. I want it so that I can wield it, so I can save us from okay. the dragons. Regardless, we're going in that door. Yeah, how do we get yeah. in? I mean, you seem to have some sort of idea if you're telling us we had the chance at surprise. Well, there are two ways, and it strictly depends on whether or not the uh, the dragon has become aware of you. Um, if he's aware, then all you need to do is step back out the door, and you will go to the castle, my door. If he's not, then you have to get in that door. Cool. Coming with? Um, I can come right behind you. Hmm. Leading from the rear? Got two choices. You can come with us, or we can knock you out or tie you up here so that we know you're not trying to do anything shady. No offense to your uncle here, friend. Yeah, but no offense. Mm -hmm. He's a little shifty, and you know it. Nothing is normal here. Especially not this one. Oh, you think that's the two choices, do you? It is. <laughs> but we would greatly appreciate your assistance. Oh, I will assist. From a distance. Yeah, that's not cutting it. That will have to cut it. Mm. Then we don't need your help. And you certainly don't deserve the gem. We know nothing about you. You've done nothing but sell. We'll figure it out. Let's go find him. Since we've come in here, he will say an ancient word and cast friends on you. Ah, uh, what do I roll? <laughs> <laughs> um, I should have my book out. Uh, we can look at this bail. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh man! I should have just hit him over the head. <laughs> Got the jump on. Him. Friends? Yep. Friends. Uh, for the duration. Oh, wait. Uh, cons. Wait, da, 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 da. For the duration, you have advantage on all charisma checks directed at one creature of your choice that isn't hostile toward you. When the spell ends, the creature realizes... That okay, so he's not casting on you. He makes it... He casts it on himself, and uh, he's going to say, I have a better idea. You go through the door, and I will follow you. And try and convince you. What do I roll against that? Um, you can... Uh, roll a... Charisma saving throw. Who did you say? He Steve's. said. Who, who did? Who did Uncle Steve say? Uncle Steve. created the gems. Mutis the giver. I didn't. No. Uh, uh, he said created the the gem that they're in. Mutis the giver. Yeah. That's a solid seven. Do any of us know that he's? Can we tell that he's cast something? Yeah, you could tell. Well, obviously. That he did okay. something to himself. Right. And Shadow, you feel like yeah, you know. Maybe we should. Like, you're more inclined. Does that affect all of us, or just him? It was on him that he uh, he went ahead and tried the persuasion. Yeah, let's, let's, uh... Let's be on our way, then. Jaren? 
you seem a little hesitant. Punk, you you're you're acting kind of strange. And you've been here a long time. I I don't I I love you. I trust you. I I I know you, but you're acting weird. Do you know me? I, I thought I thought I did. Comes the question. Well, son, um, there's, there's so much more going on here than us, and I need for us to be able to actually face this challenge, your trust. I can't trust you if you don't trust me. Well, you're not telling us the truth. You're, it's weird. Uncle. He's going to, like, start walking around the room and, like, <sighs> Jaron, you always did have a stubborn streak to you, which I want you to know is not elvish. So you're blaming my mother. Yes, really? I am. I thought you cared. You helped us. After Dad was gone, you you helped us. You gave us some money. You helped me and Mom get along. I what happened? have been helping you more than you can know. And I need you to stop being so insolent about this. We are going to go face Mooties or whoever it is, and we're going to get that gem. We? Yes. So you're going to come? I am coming behind you. Behind There's us. There's no point in going in front. Well, why don't you go in the middle? You always did have so much more human in you. Why All right, is, this is why getting is an awful there, person. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there no point in going in front? I am not a heavy hitter in that way. It is from behind that I will best support this effort. And I, you look so much more capable. Go ahead and go waltz out the door. And I'll keep you safe from behind. So you walk in front of me. He's in the front, she's second, oh. you're third, I'll be fourth. So we'll be a little conga line. I was ready to go, but now I'm getting really <coughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> we don't know where we're going, what we're looking for. You know all of it, apparently. <sighs> all right, I will offer you this. I will cast haste on you two, and you will go forward and then Pearl and I will come behind how's that fine let's go All right. my okay. final offer <sighs> Jeez. He mutters something under his breath <clears throat> and um, yeah are you guys all right let's go okay he will uh, go ahead and uh, cast haste on you um, which means I think it's like double speed. Um, okay, he casts it on on Shadow actually, because he he can't cast it on both of you. Oh. Um. I'm sorry. Does that break our agreement? No, it's fine. All right. Thank you. All right. And choose a willing creature that you can see within range. Until the spell ends, the target's speed is doubled. It gains a plus two bonus to AC. It has advantage on dexterity saving throws. And it gains an additional action on each of its turns. Oh, that's much for the okay. Wait, hold on. All right, let's Sick. go punch some okay. things. Yeah. Plus two <laughs> yeah. AC. Uh, two times move. Advantage on what? Advantage on dexterity saving throws and gains an additional action on its turn. That action can only be used to attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object action. Oh, it's like the right. same 
essentially. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, Step of the Wind or whatever. Yes. I gave you Step of the Wind for nice. uh, one minute with concentration. You guys open the door, and you see this... Uh, no longer is it outside the front. Uh, it is instead right into a purplish, reddish stone um, cathedral-looking kind of like uh, building. And um, you guys will will walk through. And it is at that point I'm going to go ahead and switch to uh, Hannah and Alex. So you rolled a 17 on your constitution save. Yes. And um, Norrin, I didn't have you roll a constitution save. Um, it is with a like slow and sluggish feeling that Renya starts to begin to come back to consciousness. And you find yourself lying on cold stone floor and everything starts to slowly hazily come back into focus um roll a perception check for me uh, that would be a 21 yeah so um suddenly Renny is like oh my gosh you know this is an emergency i need to like what what happened you know so you pop uh, back up um, and uh, you sit up the floors walls ceilings arching overhead are all this purplish slightly red blackish stone and um, you are standing now I assume uh, at the beginning of a long hallway uh, that is about uh, let's say 30 feet wide right now. I don't remember how wide I made it. I apologize. Um, on the left, beginning shortly after about 10 to 15 feet, uh, there are gaps and columns. Uh, there's a chandelier hanging in the middle of the room, fully lit, and uh, there are on the right, along the wall, placed very orderly, um, it's about four columns wide and going all the way down as far as you can see these stone slabs that stick out and have engravings on them. Um, one, two, three, four up the wall. And <clears throat> Renya begins to hear uh, coming slowly into focus for you um, this uh, music playing somewhere away to your off to your left <clears throat> and uh, strangely enough there is also um, birds cawing as well um, Um, what would you like to do? I look around. Do I see any of my companions? No. I call out to them. Norin, Poe, Shadow, Jaren, anyone? Uh, no, you don't hear anything. There is a door behind you. Double wooden barred. Okay, okay. Uh, I go, can I, can I get, take a closer look at the engravings? Yeah, sure. Roll an investigation check for me. Okay, um, so, uh, you find that there are names, uh, engraved here. Uh, there's Hazel Faraway, uh, Odger Whitler, uh, Athlin, there's a Nina Oakenbottom, or Oakbottom, Tom Fiddleston, up and to the right, uh, you find a uh, particular one that catches your eye. Uh, the name uh, Cedric Garvon. Okay, okay, okay. 
Um, okay, and that's just all that's on those engravings is mm -hmm. those people's names. Names, as far as down as you. There's go. just more names. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to keep going. It just keeps going. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, do I have any idea? Like, <clears throat> am I thinking dozens of names, hundreds of names, thousands of names? Um, this hall is long. Um, you would guesstimate there are a, a number of, uh, like maybe 200 okay. names here. Okay. <clears throat> um, wow. Can I try the door that's behind me? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's locked. Okay. And the music is coming from down and to the right? Down and to the left, down where there the are left. breaks in the wall and there are So the right is where the pillars. engravings are, yeah. there's pillars. Okay, um, I want to quietly, although I know I just shouted people's names, go over and like look around the pillars a little bit. What? Sure. Is, is um, the hall? Is quietly, it... so stealthily? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, we'll, uh, again, stealth I check for me. Shouting. Uh, 14. Um, okay. And <clears throat> so you come sneakily up, as far as you're aware, fairly sneakily, and you're peeking in through the first gap, and you see a, like, kind of an auditorium-sized room, and uh, there is um, a man sitting at a piano farther down, uh, and he is playing his black hair, um, and fairly well-dressed, um, your eyes immediately get drawn to the middle of the room, and there is a stone slab there, um, and Norin is laying on the slab in the middle of the room, uh, with a black and red orb that is, like, oscillating and roiling and, uh, right above him and the tendrils of it keep, like, working their way up and down his person, and um, throughout the room, there are... Do a nature check for me. Oh my gosh, a green one for nature. Nine. There are white birds. Okay. All around. Large white birds perched at different places. Uh, okay. Okay. So with the angle that this this man is playing, can I see his face or is his back to me? Um, it's kind of a side view. Okay. You see so the pale he, skin. And he was kind of up and over to my right in Norin's center, ro center room. Yeah, he's, uh, so the piano is just off to the left oh, of left. Norin. Okay. To the left of Norin. Uh, if I go up to Norin, will I be in clear line of sight of this guy? Yeah, there's no hiding. Okay. Anywhere. Okay. There is um, a door off to the right, but that is the only other feature of this room. Okay, and the birds are like perched on just. There's one perched near you on one of the pillars. There's one perched okay. on one of the torches. Okay. Um, um, I'm gonna just walk in. Okay. I'm gonna start walking towards <clears throat> Norin, not stealthily, maybe even like intentionally clacking my heels a little bit mm -hmm. to like announce that I'm here and just say hello um so let me ah hello how are you is it Renya Gesildrant you have me at a disadvantage so I who are you ah oh, disadvantages are not things to be cast away so lightly. I, let us say, um, the original keeper of the gem. I've been here for a very long time. Um, as he's saying, can I go I up? I hope you don't mind me continuing to play. No. Go. As he's talking, can I just kind of go up and put a hand on, on like, Norn's wrist and check for a pulse? Um, yeah, make me, uh, dexterity saving throw. What? <coughs> <coughs> I just want to see if my friend's alive, Gabe! That's all I wanted! 
dexterity saving throw. Okay, mm -hmm. what do I add to my saving throws if I don't have proficiency in them? Just my dexterity bonus or my proficiency bonus? Uh, your dexterity bonus. Okay, that's what I thought. 14. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, you manage to, like, reach in right after the, the like, tendrils of black and, and red uh, energy have, have swept past. And you're checking for just like a pulse on his wrist, mm -hmm. like just, and I'm doing it while watching the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you are catching a very, very faint pulse. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where are we? You're in my domain, my dear. You're in the gem. Why? You're here. Why? Because you Norrin, bring in? Norrin brought you in. What's wrong with him? Why won't he wake? And where are my friends? Well, your friends are not far, actually. Uh, hmm, let's cast about. Ah, uh, yes. They're in the inn. They might be coming soon. Um, and, I'm sorry, what was the rest of your question? What's wrong with the captain? Oh, Norum's having a bit of a tussle with the gem. Oh, yeah, my birds. They do calm down occasionally, but strangers do addle them, so. I don't know what you want. We... I want you to let him go. You want me to let him go? If you're the keeper of the gems, you have no power over them. <laughs> I'm not the current keeper of the gem, dear. Nor in it. And it is at this point that we will hear a bang as uh, the doors across from you will open and uh, first Shadow and then uh, Jaren, Pearl, and another gentleman will come in to the room and I will go get the other players. The double doors get burst open and Shadow, Jaren, Pearl, you are suddenly in a room there's a man playing piano. It is a uh, purple, reddish black stone in here. Massive cathedral-esque. There is maybe a chandelier, but definitely torches. And a whole bunch of white birds. Everyone can roll me perception checks if you would like. Oh Renya is standing in the middle of the room in front of a table. Tablet, stone, where Norin is laid out and there is a massive red and black orb hovering over him and stroking him with its tendrils. Oh, oh gross! <laughs> What is this sound? What are we listening to? <laughs> the birds on the piano. Oh. What was it, perception? Yeah. Uh, 12. 15. Okay. Four. No, five. Okay, yeah. Um, Lovely. So, Shadow's the only one who recognizes these birds as crows. <clears throat> and they're white White crows? crows? Yeah. They're all by now, it's fine. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so, then, uh, the uh, the mouse. Where is the mouse? Um, it's on the side. wrong screen. Oh. There it is. Here it is. Uh, don't look. Nobody look. Don't Nobody look. Nobody look. The gentleman at the piano <laughs> will um say. Uh, <clears throat> ah, hello. Your friends, as I said, are here, along with. The recluse. <laughs> Stephen, how are you? And he'll be like, quick, get the gem. Get it. Stop what? that cursed man. And um, one of the crows will actually swoop down and attack uh, dear old Stephen. Uh-oh. Oh, what does... Everyone can roll. <gasps> we come with an elf. Me. This elf dude. This elf dude. Disheveled old, older elf dude. Do I see disheveled old elf dude when they come uh, in? Initiative. Uh, initiative, yeah. Oh. I do oh. see him too. Yep. Okay, great. Nora is not rolling initiative. Elf oh, <laughs> dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I need you to roll initiative. <laughs> no, I, I need you to roll initiative. Okay. <laughs> you know, for your death saves that you're about so, to have to start making. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to <gasps> you're fine. Whoa. zoom yes. out here. And I need Whoa. this right here. What's happening? And I need. I did check Norn's pulse. He is breathing. Mm -hmm. That's good. 
Oh yeah. man. Yeah, girl, we gotta talk. <laughs> it was been a it's bad been a day so far. No, I mean like at some point I got uh, Renya and mm, Pearl got. Oh gosh, guys, this is freaking out. <laughs> My hands what? are numb. <laughs> what are your maximum hit points, everybody? Eighteen. Um. Keep forgetting that we're only level two. Yeah, we're only level two. All Let's right. Go fight so, the dragon. Can deal with I the need level two thing. Those initiative <laughs> rolls, please. I got eighteen. Seventeen. Okay. And this is initiative. initiative. Uh huh. So I have to go first. Okay. I got an eighteen as well. Oh, who's higher dex? You. Versus what? Who? Yeah, first. What's your dexterity modifier? Uh, four. You roll yeah. initiative. You're on a slab. Yeah, he told you and he apparently goes it. first because his dex is higher. Listen, bro, I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> 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 um, what did you do all the time? Yeah. Uh, he got an eight, ten. ten, and you got a what? Six. Okay, so when did you get it goes. Chirp, chirp. Sure. 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 Dog doggy. Hot dog doggy. Dog dog doggy. Is that like a hot dog made out of dogs? Okay. <laughs> I'd try it. <laughs> <laughs> it would be imperceptible, the difference. <laughs> Probably, honestly. Probably true, actually, which is sad. No, I thought you did. I I pictured dog as, like, dark meat, so. Yeah. yeah. Why is this a conversation? Why are we picturing dog? Okay. So it'll be, like, pink slurry, but a little bit gamier. Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I wasn't feeling sick, but. <laughs> One of the things that I left in Cleveland, because I was like, that's that's a lot of freezer space, was this massive, like, eight-pound thing of venison. Oh, what? now I'm sad. I have a chest freezer. Oh, I know. I kind of forgot. Otherwise, I would run it. Could have made that work. The crows um, will actually go first, cool. as I said, and this one will swoop over and <gasps> attack Steven. Uh, so. Stephen. 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 And, uh, come here, Will. No, roll. Oh, no, I did. You're so disruptive. Oh, gosh. My, oh, my. Uh, so five. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then it is gonna be Norin's turn. Okay. Uh, Norin, you are um, having this really weird dream, chaotic noises, sounds, birds playing the piano, and uh, you heard Renya's voice come swooping past you as if you're being swept around in kind of a uh, chaotic uh, whirlwind, and I would like you to make um, a. You can choose a dexterity saving throw or a constitution saving throw. As Norin considers his options. Yeah, I'd be in an unconscious state. Uh, dexterity. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, so that would be twenty-three. Nice. Yeah. So what you do here is you s like literally snag, you, you're you like feeling your way around and uh, you're snagging this sound as it as it passes and, and leap for and um, this chaotic wall of um, inputs are sweeping past you but Norin manages to time his leap and catch on. So you're now riding this maelstrom of of internal mental uh, craziness going on for you. And uh, that's where we'll pause your turn. Renya, it is your turn. And as you can see, there are birds. You're standing up by this uh, altar there. And there's uh, Norin. There's a rug. I forgot the rug. Sorry. There are windows. Oops, forgot the windows. There are uh, white crows all around. There's one perched on the piano. What would you like to do? <laughs> um, is is 
By the piano guy. Is that another bird? Yeah, it's perched on the piano. It's calling. Thank you. I, I feel like right now, I don't know, Steven. The bird's attacking Steven. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to move to be between Norn and the piano guy and then hold my action for um, a, a crossbow attack for whatever baddie attacks one of my comrades. So I'm okay. holding my action. So you could go like Just here? right there. Yep. I don't want to okay, like, really so you're walk looking far for away from him. Crossbow to like a bird if it lands on somebody. Like or? yeah, like any kind of aggressive action towards my okay. party members. So I'll hold right. my action for that. Yeah. Um, Shadow, it's your turn. And uh, Steven's on deck and then Jaren. Cool. Steven's like fighting with this crow and he's like We're we came for the end. Attack it. Attack the end. That's just to attack our friend. Um, oh man, what do I do? I'm gonna come over to this crow mm -hmm. and smack the crap out of it. With my quarter staff. <laughs> it is. Uh, so you'll have to jump for that, um, or you could climb. Quarter staff I suppose. Has reach. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he's up on the side of that torch, but yeah, you can you can smack him. I'll give you that. Go for it. Does a 22 hit? A 22 hits. Okay. Just, just we in trouble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Oversized yeah. crow. crow. He's like, oh, it's, no, it's not hit. Okay, time to run. <laughs> uh, that's eight bludgeoning damage. Okay. Eight bludgeoning damage. Turns to a proof of feathers. Mm, and nope. <laughs> he looks at you and like really angrily cool flutters its wings um, all right and then oh what to do i don't like this you know i'll just i'll go ahead and since i'm hasted i'll just hit him again okay yeah go for it uh 23 yeah that hits oh. uh four bludgeoning damage okay uh, he does not look happy. Cool. Love that. Okay. Um, Same, buddy. Same. So... I'll, I'll leave it at that. It is... Steven's turn. He will take his bonus action. And you guys hear... Um, uh, what normally would be a melodic uh, kind of tune singing from... Uh, he draws this blade out of him. Uh, out of his... Uh, uh, sheath that was behind his cape, and uh, it's discordant to the Moonlight Sonata that's actually playing right now. Um, so it's it it it's very pleasant to hear, except for the fact that there's someone else playing piano. So it's really it's kind of a sad mixture of noises. I will not subject your ears to, okay. and he will um, go ahead and attack uh, this <coughs> bird that Where is, is after him. Okay. What does, what does he look like? He's got a face. I can't, I can't even tell. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no. Sorry. Okay. You should be. And then you will go ahead and roll. Look what you've done. <laughs> Blue. Y'all ever seen the movie The Birds? Cause Five, six, eleven. <laughs> Shoot. He missed. He missed. <laughs> Man, and swings he's, wide. He's a credit. He is probably blind by talents right now. So it's my turn. Yep, Jaren, your turn. Pearl, you're on deck. Then crows. Can I step over and then attack that crow? Yeah. Are you gonna bludgeon it to death with your guitar? I'm gonna use my rapier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use my. A rapier. very similar blade to what your uncle has drawn. Yes. Yes. Only his is glowing and singing, but you know. That's cool. <laughs> that is that uncle? Was pretty cool. Oh. Uh, wait, so what? <laughs> uncle. Did he say uncle? Yeah, it's his uncle. Uh, what? I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, we'll take it. You were in there for a well. long time, man. <laughs> um, yeah, you'd add your dexterity and your proficiency. Right. So, um, so it's like 20, yeah, 22, 23, 23. something. <laughs> okay, hits. And it's 1d8. Nice. Five. 
plus. Plus my attack bonus? Your dex, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, so, 10. Dang, your dex is high. Yeah. Plus <coughs> 3. Wait, no, you wrote... Uh, yeah, I'm no. proficient. Right Hold on, what did you roll? You, you don't add five. proficiency to damage, though. Right. So it would be 8. Eight. Okay. Oh, then it'd be eight. Okay. Five okay. Plus dex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, I just went over this earlier because I was pretty confused on it too. So. All right. All right. All right. Pearl, what would you like to do? Do a flip. <laughs> do a, do a flip. Fly around. Uh, what's that? Uh... Mm-hmm. <laughs> How big is the um, orb thing over Norin? Six inches, maybe, in, you know, okay. diameter. Yeah. I think you said huge before. It was kind of the word you Well, used. then you, you know, he was talking about like all the wisps coming off of it onto you and sure. around you. I'm just trying to remember. I think there were, I think there were. <laughs> Let's say it pulsates. More prodigious it's adjectives changing. that yeah, were yeah, being yeah. Exchanged. It's all the time. So it's, tennis, it's all the adjectives. Actually. Tennis to go to tennis ball to bowling ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't As it see sucks like the life out of Norin for being sassy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah, it's, it's right to here. The, have the squares like how many squares it would take me to get over there? Um, so it's a big room, uh, so it will count the number of feet for you. Fifty-five feet. You can't get there. Um, I could if I dashed, but then I won't be able to do anything. Don't do it. I can do it later. <laughs> yeah, Mister Speed. You know what you can so do much at speed distance. Right now. Yeah. Um, we should have. <clears throat> Did we forget your extraction? No. No. Remember, I, attack. I attacked a second. Okay. Time. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, Without I'd like to point. head. I'll head thirty feet toward Renya and Norin. Alrighty. Um, Someone tell me where 30 feet is. <laughs> 15, 20, 25. Right there. Yeah. Well, 30. Back, right that, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more like what I. Whoops. Whoops. Just uh, one more. Uh, right there. Uh. Yeah. Um, and then I believe I'm within 120 feet of yes. yeah. this Daddy. guy. Daddy. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> um, of the piano man. Uh, range on. Uh, uh, Mr. Billy. Oh, you just walk there. in here, see a pianist, and you're like, that guy's going down. <laughs> like, you have no context. <laughs> she might have more Do it. No, do it. No, you're you right. Do it. I mean, do it. You do it. I have been hyped up. Like, yeah, yeah, do it. Um, I'm do going it. to. Stephen will oh. yell again. Attack God, the end. Word serious, Attack the. What about the dragon? <laughs> you want to take on the dragon? No. Okay. <laughs> a lot then. of conversation in six seconds there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <coughs> I just, I attack it. <coughs> Eldritch Blast at the, um, oh, no. at the, the orb of, over Norn, I guess? Yeah, close proximity to Norn. Yeah. yeah, hopefully. Make not, an attack roll. Not please. at, it's like, I can, do, I can focus it. <laughs> oh, gosh. What's it look like again? It's like a it's green like and green. black mist. Oh, okay. A very, very yeah. centered. Very focused, very, very focused. Uh, incredibly precise black Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great roll. <laughs> 15? It hits. Okay, okay, it hits the gem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it hits. <laughs> Shoot. I, 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 we don't know it's the gem, it's just something an orb. really stupid. It is an orb. You're doing it. Where's the I can't remember what a D10 looks like. <laughs> it's got 10 sides. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Super helpful. <laughs> Do you need well, another D10? Oh my. It's like an acute triangle. I like. I prefer to use the ones that don't have the two numbers. Uh, eighteen okay. plus five. Eighteen. 19, wait. Twenty-three. You did twenty-three damage. Oh wait, no, it's one D10, and I grabbed two. <laughs> I will. I will re. I, said, I, will re- I, will, I, I mean, I was gonna be very impressed. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm nervous. nervous. One of them. Ah! Very it's powerful. just one D10, right? You ten. don't add anything, right? No, it's 1d10 plus 5. 10 points of damage. I rolled okay. a 5 that time. There you go. 1d10. All right. Um, and she's a superhuman. Uh, oh, wait, and I cast... She's not even a human. Wait! No, I, I was going to do that, but I didn't. Never mind, never mind. It's uh, what I thought okay. I was... I can't. No. 
I'm not attacking a creature anymore, so I'm not using my spell It, slot. like, That's absorbs so this blow, and, like, physically it will, like, <laughs> and, like, the the whole, like, world will oh. shift. And it's, like, <laughs> under everyone's feet. Okay. okay, and uh, the the playing what? he stops playing and is like, hmm, and like turns to watch, and uh, then oh, the crows, three of the crows will attack. Oh, All right, let's see. Yeah, he can make it. Uh, comes and flies at you. And uh, for flavor, can I like hop off and wave my broom at it? <laughs> uh, wait, wait, is it attacking flavor. Pearl? Yeah, it's attacking Pearl. I held Pearl. action. Shoot it. I shoot it. Yeah, thank you, Rania. Don't shoot Pearl. <laughs> I didn't shoot people, oh, yeah. just instruments. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> I'll be in unison. <laughs> How's the 10? Does a 10 hit? At least it's on a 1. 10 misses, but um, uh, how does a 13 do against your AC? Well, that'll hit. It does? Okay. So you're swinging your broom and it like pecks you through and dodges an arrow that flew past. And uh, you take... Um, uh, five piercing damage. This is a really beefy one. And this guy will attack Shadow. Good luck. Okay. Does a 17 hit you? Barely, yep. <laughs> All right. It will do... Oh, cool, cool. So it really actually does barely. Uh, six piercing damage. And uh, this one will attack Jaren, actually. For kicks and giggles. Interposing, no, interposing light. What? <laughs> All the way across the room? I'm. Yeah, can't I? I think I can from here. Sure. Warding flare. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that. Um, okay. Sure. Let me. I don't. Where, no, I have it in here. Mm-hmm. A likely story. Well, you better, because he he did make this. Uh, because your AC is 14, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's warding flare. It's an interposing light. Okay. So it's a reaction. They have to roll with disadvantage. It's before it hits or misses, so I can just use it as a reaction. You have to roll again with a disadvantage. Okay, I'll roll another. There's no reach on that, like range. It's just a thing. I uh, with a creature within. So it, you I just impose disadvantage. That's so cool. Yes. Okay. Um, it's still hit. It's still hit. Oh dang! I tried, yeah. Jaren. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's a cool spell. Well, maybe you can heal me later. It's, <laughs> it's like I get hit, I guess. Six it's piercing as it takes a chunk out of your shoulder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it is Norin's turn. Uh, Renya, you're on deck. Norin, you are now riding the maelstrom of your mind. Uh, what would you like to do? You can see through this wall of emotional crap. Um, <laughs> this like massive. This is where you got that the adjective uh, orb that is just keeping pace with you, and it's just pulsating black and red. Uh, rotating around, um, you know, you're on kind of the the edifice of uh, this mental stuff, but like you could make your way across. It's about ten feet um, to the edge where this this orb is. Um, <clears throat> can I still hear snippets of mm-hmm. what's going you on heard outside? An outside. arrow fly. You heard uh, someone, uh, a cat, like hiss. Um, Pearl swear. Talking about <laughs> 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 Don't put swear words in my No, 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 you're right. She just said, confound it! Did I? I don't know. Did I hear them talking about uh, attacking the end? Roll a perception check for me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Attack the beginning. Uh, 12. Um... Yeah, you heard the 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 tail end of that. Okay. <laughs> you did, heard a large the male elf voice say, "End." <laughs> did did I did I notice a reaction on the orb when it got? Oh attacked? yeah, yeah. So yeah. the world would have, yeah. and you barely hung on. 
<clears throat> okay, do I have any of my of my equipment? Can I attack the orb? Yeah, everything's there for you. All right. Well, I want to. Uh, you said it's within ten feet. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I want to run over to it and attack it with my rapier. Go for it. Make an attack roll. Sixteen. That hits. Okay. Uh, Uh, I just did 12. Wow. Nice. Okay. You guys Good are hit. rolling max, max damage. Max damage. Yeah. That is insane. Um, I, mean, I didn't hit anything, so let's... You guys in general here. I mean, All right, well, Renya, it is your turn, so... <laughs> Men only. Yeah. Men only. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like to do, Renya? Um, I would like I to... Any kind of crazy good reaction or... <laughs> Warbling. <laughs> no warbling. Make a, a dexterity fair, saving throw. Was the world like <laughs> rever- <laughs> reverberate? Uh, oh no. Uh, they never. I just did uh, twenty-four. Yeah. Uh, so it like uh, this concussive wave hits you, <laughs> and the world will shake, guys, as um, the orb bounces up from Norin in in where you guys are, and Norin, uh, you cling on to just all of this stuff and barely haul yourself back to where you were, but... The mental detritus of yes. my shattered psyche. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Thanks. All right. <laughs> um, I, I would like... Anytime. Any <laughs> <laughs> You're like, like, where's the meds when you need it? <laughs> um, I would like to cast Sacred Flame on the crow attacking Pearl. It has to make a... Uh, dexterity saving throw. Sure. One, two, three, four. Wait. Yep. Six. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like singing. <laughs> dexterity saving throw? <laughs> yes. A six doesn't pay up, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. But it doesn't flip and fly and matter because it does one damage with stupid dumb dice. One damage? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or just take 1d8 damage, and I rolled a 1, so she, like, secret flavor, like, sputter. <laughs> you singed one of its tail feathers. It's like, oh, my oh. oh, gosh, that's it. That's all I got. I'm not moving. Shadow is up. Steven's on deck. Turn after that. All right, I'm running up to the orb. Run on up to orb, and you take an active attack of opportunity. Oh, I forgot about that. No. The bird's going to get you, man. Yellow. Yeah. Hashtag. You're, you're fast. Too. I Only can't. Not in D&D. Okay, so you can I have move. have 100 movement right now. Okay, so 50 is no prob. Not at all. All right, uh, he attacked you as you ran by. And. Give a haste. Give never a mind. My uh, uncle. That's what I thought, punk. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Free action. Oh, we found Jared's uncle on the way. Yes! <laughs> 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 right, free action. Don't trust him. He's shady. Um, cool. I'm going to smack. <laughs> That's true. Uh, with two hands, the quarter staff, the orc. Go for it. Like smacking things. Two hand that sucker. Oh, Oof. Does a fifteen hit? Yes, it does. Oh, thank the Lord. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> the Lord done said. <laughs> That's five damage. Okay. I'm also going to. Well, let's pause for a second. Oh, okay. Uh, because what happens here is Spicy. you uh, you connected, and um, as with all martial arts training, uh, you're taught to go through, and um, you don't often expect it to happen, but this time it did, and there was a, <laughs> and this wave will um, like just take out you and the whole room as this uh, massive like wall of black and red just envelops you the orb exploding underneath your your uh, smack and uh, the whole world will go white than black for everyone and uh, we will go ahead and pause this screen recording stop
Hallelujah. It actually captured. Make sure you save that file. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the way that it's layered up here, like the little orb is on top of you, I was like, it just looks like a Christmas ornament. And I couldn't tell what it was for the longest time. <laughs> and then I figured out it was actually the orb. But it literally just looks like a Christmas ornament. Yeah. Well, that's that's how I that's how I roll. <laughs> so. It's just Christmas ornaments on my head. What happens here? I want uh, Constitution saving throws from everyone. Okay. Four. Okay. Four. Okay. Eight. Okay. Also four. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa. What the heck? Oh, we're so in this together, four, guys. four, yes. four, eight, and dirty twenty. So, Renya, you actually managed to catch yourself this time. Um, uh, almost expecting, but you didn't know it was going to happen. But it was kind of subconscious. But you you stopped yourself from actually going under. And you watch as the rest of your party uh, falls down around you, uh, unconscious, to the deck of uh, the Hyreal. And what? you are standing in the cargo hold as uh, the rest of your party falls down. And there the gentleman stands up uh, as if he was expecting what happened. He's in the act of standing from his piano uh, stool. And he says, uh, Wait, uh... Oh, thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. Ah, uh, seems we've gone back a little bit. I'll be on my way, though. Can <coughs> I cast command? Or try to? Yeah, On sure. him? Go ahead. <coughs> By the way, Stephen Arkwright is here as well. He has fallen. Oh, you must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Oh, it's next turn! It doesn't matter! What do you mean? It like the, the, <coughs> the creature, if you lose it on his next turn, follows the command. Yeah, okay, but I have him. to. Okay, let's well, try. He can't leave until he does yeah. it, though. Okay. Yeah. You're not in a turn-based thing, right? No, I know, so. I know. I just trying. I'm trying something. <sighs> yeah. What am, What am I doing? Uh, a wisdom. Saving throw. Yeah, let me double check. It's wisdom instead of dex. Yeah, wisdom. Okay. Uh, twenty. Five. Yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. So I shout stay in the command and it doesn't work because it's... My dear Renya, I don't have any plans on staying and neither should you really. I mean, since we both know what happens to this ship. And he walks close to the cargo day door and like will actually effortlessly grab uh, the door uh, lock and just wrench the whole thing up. Um, by the way, you guys, just description for everyone. He was like black haired, uh, silver, uh, silvery pale skin, and um, uh, very, very well, like he's got a suit on, black suit and everything, and just wrenches the doors open. There's massive wind comes flowing in, and he just like, and then flies out, like falls. Yes. So um, everyone's here. Yeah. Noren's here. Jaren, Shadow. All you know. Pearl. Everyone's there. Steve. Okay. They're all, all Steven, asleep. Steven. Yeah. There's Steven. a. There's, yeah. Are there birds? Uh no, no birds. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do I remember? Does this Renya remember who got hit? Um, like roll a history check for like, me. Took damage. Yeah. 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 No, she doesn't know anything. What was that? What did you roll? <laughs> Four. Oh, you're like. Uh, Norris oh wait, well, hurt. seven. <laughs> oh well, I mean, I mean, you. Do you, I see blood? Uh, <sighs> okay, okay. Shadow, um, Shadow has some. Okay. Uh, a I, dash, and Jaren has I start, some blood. I'm gonna like start shouting like their names and go over to Jaren sure. and Shadow and cast. Sure. Yeah. A healing word for each of them. <coughs> yeah. Um, and you can also roll a perception check for me, I mean, and then, and um... That's it, that's all I got. Sacred Flame is a cancer, but... You rolled a what on your constitution saving throw? Oh, that was a minute ago. It was like, oh, it was eight. Eight, yeah. I thought it was a little higher. So you'll actually start to wake up first. Okay. And then, 
uh, shortly thereafter, uh, the three of you. And um, Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve. You I'm about to throw him off. <clears throat> I didn't do anything wrong. My didn't ab- do anything right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't help that much. <laughs> you both heal seven points. Tight. Awesome. Max. I, rolled, yes. I rolled the three thing, the three for both of you. So. Awesome. It literally brought us both back. So yeah. Back to max. Back, back so. to max. Thank you. Oh, oh, so they good. will all wake I'm up. Fine. Get a Sorry, I didn't have enough spells. Okay. Oh, you got hit too, but he said. I know. <laughs> Sharon. I know. Every everyone's awake now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, just to be clear, he, the what we see now is, we're on the, we're in the cargo hold of the ship. There's yeah. There's a door yeah. open. And I'd like perception checks air, from right? everybody. Yeah. It's it's swooping in. It's like. So my hair is. But like, Norin's awake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Norin is like. I mean, I wouldn't want to interpose what he's saying and doing, but I, uh, he's probably grasping at reality, you yeah, know, yeah. And, and like uh, someone grasps at air when they come up from a long time not breathing. That's great. Can I take my passive? Take yeah. your passive. Can I take my passive? Oh. Yeah. 13. 16. <laughs> 20 for 23. Nice. Wow. 19. Yeah. So, um, it, like... Everyone, you guys are focused. You're, you know, like, oh, yeah, thank you so much for the healing. And you're like, no, my, my pleasure, whatever. Uh, you two notice that there is a, uh, like, dragonborn, like, out. Uh, his leg is sticking out from behind a canister here. Like a, a like a, a big, a box, actually, with, with, you know, the rope that's tied down and stuff. And, um, yeah. I run over to Norn and just like you, you're awake. What? 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 what are happened? you okay? Are you? I, are you all here? Uh, I don't know. Where is here? <laughs> is this? Are we really on the ship again? Can't be. What? I want to check out that guy. We're in the. Guy, now you come around. Can and, you um, get the rods out? The the stones. He's dead. He's Do dead. you have? Two things. Yeah, he's missing the top part of his person. Oh, cool. I hate when that happens. Can I go through his pockets? <laughs> oh, oh my right. god! He he the cage Why? <laughs> Why? He's like, he has his bottom pockets left, so I might as well check. <laughs> I mean, he got anything nice. Do I recognize him? He might have something important. Uh, well, you didn't necessarily face. notice. He have no torso. Um, <laughs> you saw Pearl go around a box, and you see a dragonborn right. foot. Oh my god. 14. Okay, yeah, you find uh, five gold. Okay. Well, that was useful. Can was I it worth it? Pull out the rods. <laughs> yes. Like that I know. Like she's got rods. I'm like, yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, they're going off and uh, indicating Norin. Norin, uh, you where's have the, the gem? I check my pockets. It's right there. It's where we give me the gem. What? So I pull, I pull it out and hand it. Okay. Do a Constitution saving throw for me. <laughs> it's yeah. I just want to do it. Uh, wait. That's a uh, nine. That's a nine. You you really don't want to give her the gem. Norin, give me the gem. Um, but it's my <laughs> <laughs> You I, I just feel wait. this foreboding that if you you are if the dre- gem leaves your person at this point, it might hurt. I just reach for uh, his palm. Uh, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not sure I can hand it to you. Can I smack it out of his hand, like straight up in the air with the quarter staff? Do like, an attack roll. I yeah. want to catch it in a belt pouch that I have. Do an attack roll and yeah. a, a dexterity saving throw, I guess. <laughs> Dex attack. Just for not 20 on the attack. And Dex saving throw is going to be a 24. Noise. Okay. That was the monkiest monk thing that you've ever done before. <laughs> like, that was the <laughs> most monk oh, thing. Max your hands. Yeah. And, uh, he's still got haste, so it's uh, like in <laughs> slow mo for you. Yeah, he's like. Uh, go ahead and do damage to Norrin. Oops, my bad, friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you break his hand. <laughs> Just D6. I have no more healing spells, by the way. It's fine. That command was so Um, That's to six damage. And, and you take oh, an additional see. six psychic damage as it leaves your hand. Oh. Um, so a total of 12 damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right, and my hand is broken. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you can uh, you can make that decision if you want. Um, yeah, but yeah, it flies up and you're able to... <laughs> so that no one's actually touching it. 
I think we can all agree that uh, whatever happened. Sorry, Nori. Do I see like blood coming out of his nose? Like is he just like <laughs> I um Nori here, and I hand him a healing potion. I was yeah. saying, we definitely have stuff. We do we still do. have our our inventory? Oh, yeah. And yeah. Everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we still have our fe- feather fall tokens? No. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I if you've already used them. Well, you, I mean, you said something about it being back in time, and I'm confused about what's happening. I don't happening. think. I don't well, think. Should I? Can I, can I now, check on Uncle Steve? Are we still on the show? Yeah, yeah. Somewhere? Is he awake? We're in the car. Yeah, room. he is. He is pacing back and forth actually, actually now. He's again <laughs> like that's all he does. Hold on, hold on. He's just what he did at the end. He just paces. And then dies. That's right. So wait, is he's a he's awake? He's just walking. Yeah, and he's walking back and forth, and like seems lost in thought. What happened? So, Who? Where were you? Who are you? <laughs> Who Steven, is he? Uncle, are you okay? We were back in Norberton for a minute. We couldn't <sighs> get through. To, there was he was the only one there, and then we were gonna go attack a giant dragon or something, and then somehow we ended, and he said to hit the gem. I'm very confused. Um, I want the gem. Okay. Not happening. Healing you don't know what you're doing with it, cat. You don't either. I know more than you. Who who are you? I am Stephen Arkwright. The original finder of the gem. A blasted half-wit halfling interrupted me. But now you've released you released I should have seen that coming. Who was he? He said he was the original keeper of the gems. Yes, well, I mean, the maker of the gem is the original keeper of the gem, dear. (gasps) He made the gems. He made the gem that you have and are just waltzing around the world like nincompoops with. Somebody! Give it to me. That was Mutiz. Who? Mutiz. That's Mutiz. Who he said made the gem. I... But the other guy said that it was... Somebody wait, wait, else wait, wait, wait. who made it. The dwarf? The dwarf. He said, um... Revenant made it. Who? Who told you this? Professor... Uh, well, a dwarf who made a lot of things Harman up. Marosa? Come to think of it. Is that it? Oh, my word. All right, you're going to trust a dwarf over your own uncle? Over an elf? You're a bit, you've been acting really <laughs> strange, Uncle. You know what? You are the most ungrateful. Well, okay, no, wait a second. Call it here. I don't know how you do family, but he saved your life in there. There was a bird attacking your face. He came over and helped you. You're only out of there because of them. Also, where was there? And how were you in there? <clears throat> Don't know. I we were in the gem. We, we were all inside the gem. And he had been in the gem for, for years. For a couple of years, two years. Yes. All alone. I he suppose I have to thank you. He keeps trying to mm. give us the gem. Everybody got no information taken into or the... what his plan is with it. So we. If everybody from Grangeshire came through the same door that we did, are they around here somewhere? I I think they're gone. Pearl, Pearl I saw names. What? I saw names. There were, there were names engraved, and Cedric's was one of them. Where? I don't know where I was. It was outside of where I met the piano man and the birds, and I got distracted because he was just on a slab, and there was this black stuff, and... On a slab, you've been unconscious for. I, I mean, I don't even know what day it is. Who is? Do you remember we were in the mine? (coughs) Stephen makes a grab for the bag. (laughs) Oh no! (laughs) Okay, you're gonna hit him. Oh, 100 percent. Okay. Eldritch blast. He drops concentration on haste, though. That's fine. (coughs) Yeah. Oh. Uh, Yeah, that's a seven. No. Oh, no. Can no. I attack again? Because I can use a bonus action to do two Go ahead. attacks. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to roll these both at the same time. They're unarmed. Sure. I'm going to go for his eyes. Yeah. With Jeez, my claws. just grab the bag. Yeah. No. Did he take the bag from He's you? trying to. Um, That's a 17 and an 18. Both are plus five. Okay. Well, you're going to hate me, but... Don't hit. You barely miss. Oh, and You man. realize his, his blade is still singing. 
and uh, he will counterspell your uh, My eldritch blast? Your eldritch blast. Well, that's rude. Yes. And he will, like, whip the sword around Jerry, to Jaren's neck. <gasps> Give it to me now. No. Just everybody <laughs> s- slow down. Jaren, you should go to therapy. This is a family situation. Um, just it's worse than you think, dear. I'm his father. What? You. <sighs> that <issues>. woman. <laughs> <laughs> I never wanted a half elf for a son, but that's how it happens sometimes. <laughs> Give me the gem. Back off! <laughs> no. Wow. This. <laughs> well. Jaren. While everyone's still reacting, there is a <laughs> behind you, this and there's black out. smoke. Oh my god! Coming in from the back of the the storage, he'll like look around and be like, <sighs> when he's distracting, can I can I try to hit him with another Eldritch Blast? Go ahead, because that's yeah. what I've got. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta roll hot. <laughs> Apparently, Gosh, darn it! <coughs> 18, 14 to hit. Awesome. He dances past, <laughs> and I he'll swing at you like just can clip I, your leg. <clears throat> can I like try and dodge? Um, I mean, he's he's gonna attack, so okay. uh, whether he hits or not. Okay, okay. Um, Are we rolling for initiative here? Cause uh, like... yeah, yeah, this was the surprise round. So yeah, go ahead and roll for initiative. 22 hits you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Darth Vader crap going on here right now. Am I rolling for initiative too? I am your father. Yeah, uh, 10. Hashtag 10 bless. 10 piercing damage. That means you get <coughs> no. It, it means you just get advantage on initiative rolls. Oh. It's it's a thing. It's just a, I, I it's just you have advantage on your initiative roll. So I can roll again. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Well, it's not much better. You still have that inspiration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I don't know if I want to use it here. No, I'm just saying don't forget you have it. He did ten damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my god. That's a lot. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, 25 through 20. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? No. <laughs> what the crap? 25 through 20, no. 20 through 15. 16. Six, uh, 17. Oh. 19. 15. 17. Wow. Okay, That's so <laughs> Shadow, you literally all wrote uh, 19. Uh, you rolled a 17 17. and 17. Okay, so. No, wait, what I said 14. You said 16? 16. 16, 14. Okay, so. Uh, and then what was yours? 15. Okay. 15 so. One is, yes, uh, Noren, Renya. Wait, I, I also rolled a 17. Okay, but uh, your dex is what? Plus one. Okay. Uh, Pearl. And then uh, yours was a, a 15. Mm-hmm. So, Jaren. Okay, so he goes last. We're in a session. <laughs> what the crap? He said somebody else's backstory, and I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so Shadow, you're on deck. What would you like to do? You're, you're, you're it's your turn. I was say, wait, I'm on deck. No, no, um, you're here. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna. You're so screwed. I'm gonna get off the ship with the gem. Again. Everybody, hold on to my broom, and we'll just fall gently. <laughs> That's okay, a waste. So, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna swing with the quarter staff. Or no, actually, I'm gonna attempt to grapple. Go for it. What am I adding? Doesn't matter. Just kidding. It's a five mm. plus whatever. Yeah, no. All right. Um, you miss. Got any bonus actions? Like. Oh, I have plenty. Bonus action, subdue uncle slash daddy. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> uncle dad? Uncle dad. Uncle dad. <laughs> <laughs> uncle dad. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and, and use one key point for patient defense, Jared, do you which have is to take. Siblings? Um, I can spend one, <laughs> spend one key point to take the dodge action as a bonus action. So any attack roll made against me until the start of my next turn has disadvantage if I can see my attacker. Uh, deck saving throws have advantage. Yada yada. Sure. Uh, and then I'm gonna look at Pearl and 
uh, throw the gem out. You've got your burnt. <laughs> <gasps> okay. Wow. We're going there. Yep. Oh man. It's the most important thing. All right. Uh, yeah. So Norin, you're up. Pearl, you're she on has deck. The kitchen. Oh. We got to get off the ship one way or another, and we can't let Homeboy have the gem. So. Norin, uh, you can do an investigation check for me, um, just as. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so weird. So fast. Yeah. So I. I imagine I yelled to Pearl, like, get the gem. Ten. Ten. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're very distracted by the gem just yeah. flying out. I'm the still waking up from this mm-hmm. situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're so yep. confused right now. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> uh, but, it's my, but it is my turn. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. Are we this guy swinging yeah. at our I, Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, am I within melee range of? Steven? Yeah. Where can I get there? You can yeah. walk over there. Yeah, I'll use my rapier. Well, Go for it. <clears throat> 11. You freaking Missed. put that dice away. This yeah. is my good one. <laughs> no, use the gear one. No, a no, this one is. Anything else? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, Pearl, it is your turn. You can as a uh, background thing, make an investigation or perception check if you'd like. Um, <clears throat> to see the gem? Good gracious. Well, I imagine uh, you would see yeah. that since I yelled at you. Okay. No, he's trying to give us something here, guys. He's Somebody roll well enough to get what the DM <laughs> is trying to bless us with. There's a gift within reach. <laughs> In- I'm trying to do insight. Are we still within the Can I get advantage? Gem? Insight check. Yeah. Instead of investigation. Or oh anything? wait, investigation. Okay, I'm sorry. I looked. I wrong eye thing. Investigation or perception. I'm not giving you advantage. Okay. Investigation. Nine. Oh wow. Nine. <laughs> yeah, you're very distracted by the gem flying out the window. Yeah. Or I mean the door. The I, floor. The floor. Whatever it is. Um. Yeah. I mean, I've I've locked eyes with Shadow, and it's like, all right, I got this. So I'm gonna. Geriatrically. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take my gonna... Featherfall token that I didn't use when the original airship went down, oh. and I'm going to toss it to Renya. Um, that so makes sense. Do I get to just catch it? Yeah. Cool. Um, and then I full speed missile. after that gem. Mitchell, missile. Mitchell? <laughs> I have missile <laughs> snaring hands, and she's like, duh! <laughs> Okay, so you guys watch as Pearl leaps out and oh away. Okay. okay. As fast as my broom will go, I will go after it. Dexterity saving throw for me. As okay. you get whipped up in the, the wake of the ship. <laughs> Should I stop using that. this dice? Besides, I was the rod, so if it just falls in the wilderness, we can find it. <laughs> Yeah, is there a wilderness? You have the what? What was that? <laughs> what, what is this place? Natural 20 for yes. 21. <laughs> All right, Pearl. It's like neat, uh, Trinity from yes. uh, Matrix. Yes. Like, I was going to say, it's like when Spider-Man tries to catch Gwen, only does it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave. Well, he does, but it's just too late. All it's right, Renya, you up. Uh, Jaren, you're on deck. And Renya, no, you can make a... Right. Actually, no, you just see it. Uh, there is a, um, a loading... Uh, boat here. Oh, hmm? okay, okay. That you okay. could like that pushes. You know, you could push it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And then fall to our death in a boat. It's gonna be the same lifeboat boats that they use to get off. That came that like fly oh, out. Right. Oh, right. Oh, they sure. fly. Uh-huh. Flying their boats. Um, they. <laughs> <laughs> this last game. <laughs> um, okay, I want. Oh, to... between your turns, by the way, there was another. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the second yeah. engine. Can I use <coughs> my movement mm-hmm. and my bonus action to move the boat, or do I need to use an action? I feel like that's probably yeah, that's action, isn't it? That's I mean, it would take you know a uh, strength check to move the boat. So okay, so um, action. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to move. I'm gonna try to grab the boat. Sure. And move it. Yeah. Are you telling anyone about this? I'm just communicating. The boat, the boat, and she does a lot. <laughs> the boat and does nothing with her two. You rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's incredible. <laughs> All right, she's a healer, okay? <laughs> okay. So that's a one. Jaren? Yeah, no, I have a minus one to my strength. So actually, that's a one. That's a one. You're up, Jaren. Steven's <laughs> yeah, on exactly. deck. She hurts her hand. She's a splinter. <laughs> Who's on deck? Jaren. I mean... No, he's up. Gosh. Um, I mean... <sighs> with, I think Steven. Yeah, Steven. I'm up. And then, okay, um, I don't. Do I attack him? He, he looks wild and yeah, crazy. Yeah, okay, I should. I should. And, like should angry and. Um, and he's hit. also attacked you, literally taking yeah. a chunk out of your flesh. Yeah. So. Um. Fire. Yeah. No, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna attack him with my rapier. Sure. Snap back at him. Go for it. Okay. Uh, sixteen. Nice. Sixteen? Yeah. He just. He just. Died. Yeah. He has a really yeah, high AC. Really cool. Mm-hmm. He's really cool. Freaking dad. So cool. God, dad. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, let me win. <laughs> um, the hot rod. <laughs> I'm gonna heal you so much. I'm gonna heal you. So much. <laughs> I'm gonna get you better. <laughs> Oh. Yes. Oh yeah. Gosh. It's totally that kind of relationship. Um, <laughs> uh, he will just uh, mutter elven swear words under his breath, and then just he teleports. Is gone. Good. <clears throat> and, Does Pearl uh, see him? Yeah. That's Out a the good door. Question. Mm. Like, is he teleporting to try to get the stone before her? <laughs> like, what's happening? No, no, you don't see him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Out okay. Of, out of initiative. What I want to run to the, like the portcullis thing that Pearl was out of and just like look down. Do I see her? Does she have? Do I see that she has the stone? I'm uh, also like you, shouting you and cannot, pointing like the yeah, boat. You can't see very much at all. I mean, the ship has is starting to lilt and, and tilt and stuff, but it's still fairly upright. And um, there's just air and the ground rushing past. Okay, so it's boat. really hard. Uh, the boat. I will help you with the boat. <laughs> yeah, we're all we're all getting the boat. Do the boat. What, what is that? We're getting the boat. What is that? Are you helping with the Are boat? Are you helping with the boat? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Shadow. I'm going to jump off the ship now. <laughs> I'm going to help with the boat. Uh, okay. Gonna help. Yeah, so you guys can uh, make a group strength check as uh, you, you're getting it in position and everything. Um, it, it, and oh, my gosh. I will Sweet, also give you, like, an investigation check as well. Like, it, yeah. Insight. Let's say insight here. Or just intelligence. No, you just roll, and then you he's roll and then trying he... to get an average. Yeah. Holy cow, Jaren is inspired. <laughs> Jaren's like pissed about his uncle yeah. situation, I bet. Jeez, my dad, my pumping. uncle dad. Yeah, I got a six huh? on strength. Adrenaline's pumping. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. What do I so add to this? Just uh, a strength. strength. Yeah. Just Not zero. Zero. Just zero. Just, zero. Uh, you add zero. zero. Yeah, so nine. Okay. Yeah, well, I got three, because I okay. always subtract one. Well, Jaren is, has lifted the boat himself and <laughs> commands in a very commanding tone that you all get on board. <clears throat> and, and get in the boat! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys, into the chopper. Do you guys hop in the boat? Yes, we yeah, hop yeah, in the yeah. boat. Okay. Can we do an investigation, too? You, oh, um, that was to find the boat, and I already found well, it. Well, an insight is insight. kind of what I was going to say. So, oh. that, But does it not matter? Well, I, I would appreciate just an intelligence roll, actually. From who? From everyone? Everyone, yeah. In the boat? Yeah, everyone. 17. Uh-huh. Intelligence? I'm smarter than I am strong. Did you just roll another nat 20? No. no. I just rolled a nat 20 for a total of 25. 13. Nice. Yeah, so... Um, 13. Uh... Norrin and Shadow Norrin you snap to it first, but uh, you can connect the boat head to uh, like basically an arm that will like dangle it, and then you can pull a lever. Um, and then I assume you relay this to, to mm. Jaren, mm -hmm. and Jaren, with your nat 20 strength, you latch it on, hop in, and you guys can go whenever you want to. Now. <laughs> yeah, now. we should go now. Yeah. We want now. <laughs> Renny just reaches over. And <laughs> like now. And I want to start shouting like, Pearl! 
<laughs> uh, yeah. I have a better idea. Pulls the rods out. <laughs> Dexterity saving throws from everybody. As the boat kind of, uh, it, you know, it's not necessarily supposed to be dropped out at this speed. Um, can we can we 15. help each other? <laughs> Fourteen. I, I got a fifteen. I got a ten. Wow. I know. As a cat. I know. <laughs> and a monk. Yeah, you got crazy dice. Yeah, so um, the boat like falls and then catches itself, but as it's doing that writing action, Shadow uh, actually will like flip out and go, <laughs> as uh, you know, you flip off the edge. Um, I will let you do another dexterity saving throw to, to grab to on. Can any of us try to snatch him? Nat 20. Okay. Yeah, so you, you're you latched on for dear life into the wood <laughs> the here. My cat does when I go to take, like, the take him a bath. innate <laughs> featherfall <laughs> token instilled into the boat will settle in and it starts drifting down. And um, Does it have any kind of propulsion that we can use? Uh, no. No, it's just it's use just a life vest. We're just more. slowly <laughs> falling in a boat together. <laughs> take your cape uh, and hold it up in your uh, uh, yes. I, I want to... Scream for Pearl more. Yeah, scream for Pearl, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I'm going to pull out the rods to see if I can do Darling, it. Darling, are you all right? <laughs> As you scream that, there's another <laughs> and above you. and we're like, doing there's great! There's all kinds of smoke starts billowing out. And um, per your natural perception, you see, like, ahead or behind, maybe. You're not quite sure, but there's a line of people like drifting down, um, and uh, yeah, Pearl is uh, straight down actually, uh, according to the rods. And Pearl, you do a perception check for me. <clears throat> uh, perception twenty-one. Yeah, so you see the boat come out. Oh, good. And, Did yeah. you get the? Did you get she that? did. Yeah. Yeah, she got the bag. She got it so good. So good. <laughs> Finally rolled decently on these types. How of bloody is Jaren from that leg wound? Is it like hemorrhaging? Oh, he is. He is suffering now. What's like, your... I'm at eight. <coughs> That's over oh. half down, though, right? Oh yeah. 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 So you look very bloody. Okay. Yeah. I'm not dead yet. <clears throat> I, I don't have any more spells, so. <laughs> can I cast cure wounds on myself? I feel like we're still soul? inside yep, Jack. Can. Right, yeah, you can cast yeah. cure wounds on yourself, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> come, come, poke! Hiya! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna uh, wait for you to fall down toward like, me. Like, <laughs> hobble over to one of the, like, like a bench and just sit down and drink some snake oil. Yep, yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, it's what would we say, 2d6? Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be 2d6. Like snake oil should really be a topical thing. <laughs> no, I'm drinking it. Oh, that's You and Jaren can take turns massaging the snake oil. And <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Never mind. Feel I mean, free to I mean, cut that. Please leave that in. Wow. I mean, they keep oh. winking and flirting with each other. <laughs> All right, do we catch up with Pearl? Uh, yes. And do you join them? Um, I can I can I do like a um, glance around just like to make sure that everything's safe or whatever before I d like that there's nothing like coming crashing toward the boat or anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, investigation or perception. If she decides or... to come back for us. Oh man, what would that mm -hmm. be perception? The yeah. adventures of Pearl. She just <laughs> flies away. Eleven. <laughs> solo <laughs> camp, solo <laughs> campaign. Oh. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Um, pretty sure everything's fine. Cool. I don't. I'm just gonna fly alongside. The, so the bag. The, the gem. Is it in there? I'm so stressed. Know. I'm sounding I American. Do, I do. I like <laughs> peek. Don't, don't touch it, though. I'm not touching it. Were you can, touching it or wasn't it in Can I pocket? look I into the bag skin. and right. do I perceive that it's the exact same gem that had been delivered to my room however many days ago? I mean, history track, I guess? Like, I want to make there. sure that we're not the gem duped. Is there. Like, it's the same thing, right? It's this the only, actual gem. It's only been like... But it's Three, never days. left either Norrin's possession, Norrin's direct possession, but or... But to be yeah. fair, everything we just went through, we were inside of the gem, yes. and you yeah. saw two orbs, so... Everything looks fine. 
Everything is what, awesome. What was that? That that person who teleported away? Who or no? Uh, the other He's one, the one before that. The piano uh, man? Yes. That's a dragon. He was a dragon. He's what? a dragon. According to who? Uh, his uncle dad. <laughs> My uncle dad. A very <laughs> trustworthy source, obviously. Yeah. Are you all right? Point. I mean, to be fair, didn't we I'm hear? I'm bleeding out. <laughs> <laughs> That's Good right, question. he is. He's I'm literally so feeling better. I drank some snake oil. That's I'm great. bleeding. Okay. I'm no, all to be fair, anything. we did speak with that creature in in the, the depths Hoggets? of the mine who said that he wanted it. And then... Uh, so is that your father, it, or is did. it... The dragon. What? The he. There's two people. Piano two man. Piano man. Was the dragon, and then his dad. Do we is know Steven. his name. No. Motis. Oh, something that was. Did Somebody say said that? Motis. Not Motis. Uncle, uncle dad. Motis. 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 Does anyone want to do a medicine? Like on on Jaren before he loses I mean, consciousness. I can, no, he's fine. Is he really that I'll bad? Do, I'll I do asked cures. if he had like eight. I oh yeah, you were gonna cast cure. How many more spells? Wounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I have a potion if you one. need Let's it. Let's do one d eight plus my spell casting. I'm, yeah. I'm really wary about the fact that I've like used all my healing spells on half of my potions, and we're not clearly not Ooh, safe. Not, we're not in the woods yet. Eight. Yeah. Nice. Out of yeah. Woods? No, we're still in the gym. gym. <laughs> you guys do all level up, by the way. <laughs> oh, let's go. oh man! Right now? Yeah. Does that, right do now? we recover Wait, hit points when we do that? Two. Yeah, everyone goes up to. You, just, you never. Up. You did. You leveled up all these things. I can see, but you wouldn't have been that there. You just never changed oh. that. That's okay. I'm really well, this good is, at this game. I'm I have fantastic. a lot of things. You've, you've leveled up your other three. things. We were talking about this with mm-hmm. sneak attack at the last. Yeah, because Kildrick was still at level three. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to college, guys. Going to college. We need a safe place. I don't know what's happening. Are we? That's the ship, right? We're the ship. We're still in the gem. The ship crashed. Did you hit your head? How do you know that? How? What are you talking about? I we was just in a weird version of Greenshire and a castle of some kind. We're still, this is not real. Okay, so but I'm his blood is. Convinced. So That's we true. can still be hurt here and we still need to find a safe place regardless of where we are or when we are. But wait, the gem was gone. We didn't have the gem when I we were inside of it, obviously. Now Anna the gem that is. You saw there. some figures off in the distance, by the way. Yeah, they were just falling, right? Mm-hmm. Were they us? Um, I, I would I would like to propose that. We, <laughs> wait, uh, go, wait! Uh, hello. Wait. Excuse me. Norwich! <laughs> Ahem! <laughs> I would like to propose, if we would like to keep this gem from having this Mootis escape from it, we should go find ourselves, he already who already has, it. no, but they have a gem where Mootis has not escaped, and if we kill them, Pull out your rise. take it. Whoa, Norin! <laughs> where are your eyes? And we can Pull protect it better rides. from ourselves this time. Pull out your rise. This is getting real weird, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's so more than one gem. Are there two gems? <laughs> Shadow, go kill yourself. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> You won't. <laughs> in a game, in a game, Bold. in a game. Bold. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pull my rods. I mean, it's an interesting theory. I'm going to do this with them to okay. see if, like, one points to the one that we have, that Pearl has, and one points towards <laughs> anywhere else. Um, They are both. The one that's pointing away is weaker. And then as you bring it closer, then it gets stronger and weaker. Stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how how far away are these figures? I mean, they're further and further away. They're we, we can't hear anything. They're traveling. Do you hear music. Do you hear music. Free fall. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a perception check. <laughs> My passive is sixteen. Do I pat like passively hear music at all through the wind? Nat Your twenty. Passive <laughs> perception. It's so annoying. <laughs> Caleb also just nat 20, so... Oh, 20. Does yeah, he yeah, hear yeah. his own music? 21. Yeah, both of you catch, and you more, like, refrain on the wind. share this Sh- knowledge? <laughs> I... Is that... That's me. 
Those... Do you guys hear? I'm sorry. That's you. That's them. And you. Us. We and need you. To go and kill you. Them. And so you. we are back. in Lauren, time. I know yes. that you've had a stressful time with um, this, but we can't just kill everything that annoys you. Also, if we kill I mean, ourselves, I don't then do we die here. No. I wouldn't think so. I don't so. think that's how that works. I don't we, know. We I'm, should find I'm out. Very... We've got no, several. No, 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 we've got no. several individuals we can test this on. <laughs> Your first friend. <laughs> we can. We we need to land. We need to. We need a moment. Yeah, I'm with Renya on this. We should land and find safety. We don't need our old selves for anything. Um, if we we can't find <coughs> anything right now. Let's speak for yourself. Than they are. By one level, I feel it in my bones. <laughs> <laughs> There's something that says I have more than she does. <laughs> wow. We we. How close are we to the ground at this point? Um, yeah, so you guys have been moving quite slowly because uh, this time around you're not using a broom to direct your uh, yeah, 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 yeah. person. So really quick, wait, can we you're roll? about halfway there. Hit points. I want more hit points before yeah. we do anything Feel else. free. Feel free. Wait, like, so we'll level up, but we're going to level up right now. You, I mean, whoever, yeah, you That's can level up. too much time. I mean, I yeah. want more hit points now. <laughs> Pearl, pearls greedy. <laughs> I mean, I, we could keep. It's, we're all rolling. Are we rolling our hit dice? If you want to. Okay. I'm gonna do this again. Uh, uh, so whatever your dice is, die. yeah, just Wait. add that to that. Okay. Yeah, your Constitution modifier plus one hit die That's the will add thing to your go. HP. Nice. Ten. Nice. What? I rolled an eight plus my constitution modifier. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh wait, I asked. Let's go. Yeah, you yeah, your constitution modifier every every level. Let's go. Please tell me you've been doing that for your I've other characters. <gasps> Not for Ashroom. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> also ten. I rolled an eight. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I will badly. I want Nora is sitting, sulking, muttering to herself. So yeah. I feel so much more powerful. We need to kill them. We need to kill them. <laughs> there are two. Oh, wait, you said 20. I have 20. <laughs> there are two eschatons. We can yes, choose. I just we can choose our destiny. I'm so early. I am so confused. Um, well, we're falling. I mean, I don't feel like I can, I'm not gonna, she's not gonna do anything until we get to ground. Can we steer the boat towards ourselves? Should we go talk to ourselves? No, Have a no. chat? No. Haven't you ever read any of the stories about all the horrible things that can happen? <clears throat> well, some of them... It's not better read. than what we've been dealing with already. <laughs> we can make it so weird. Would Gabe play us? <laughs> all mm-hmm. of us? <laughs> Why, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Or would I play myself talking to myself? Uh, you have to switch spots, though. <laughs> Just like run around the table. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I have no idea. I'm gonna wait. I want to do that. On. I want to talk to. There's only one think person who can actually idea. move you faster. Yeah, Pearl. Will you get us to the ground? I think that's the best bet. Sure. Do I do push? I have or a I have a rope. Yeah, you can. You I'll can tether pull. it to the boat and to your broom. Sure. Just yeah. guide us faster. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. Go ahead and I, I, I let this happen and uh, make a strength check, Rachel. Oh, strength check? Mm-hmm. Can I, can, with advantage because I'm assisting her? What, by cheering her on? Like she tying the rope, rope and things? Okay, Thoughts fine, 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 fine. Thoughts of hers. <laughs> 17. Holy cow. Uh, oh, ladies. Oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> My strength modifier is zero. That was all dice. <laughs> nice. uh, yeah, you are hauling. Which way? Which direction? Uh, um, I don't yeah. want to go talk to my... Yeah, we away, we should away. Go, we should go southwest. That's where we were trying to go anyways. Before we left the town. I, sure, if you say that, let's go. Southwest. We're trying to go to the Great Waste, remember? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Pearl yeah. doesn't believe any of this is real still. She thinks we're in a snow globe moment, so give her but a Pearl, second. Pearl, if we were in a snow globe moment, wouldn't we hit some sort of barrier? I've already done that today. All right, sure, let's see how far we get. <laughs> Shadow and Pearl <laughs> would meet Actually, eyes and be you like... You know what? I want to push this time. You guys can <laughs> so hit the barrier Pearl this time. Around. You're so, pretty sure, by the way, the, which, the way he said that and the way he looked at you, that he saw. 
Uh, so where? Oh, I definitely saw. <laughs> we're going to go to the gray waste. <laughs> while this is happening, <laughs> while we're going down, can everybody reconvene here for a moment? Norn was in the cave. We were all in the cave. There was a flashing light. Everyone saw that, right? There was a big light. Mm -hmm. I did not. Everybody but Norin, give us a moment. <laughs> I wasn't asleep. No, we know. We tried really hard to wake you. Okay, anyway, and so I will go. <laughs> she doesn't even want to hear what she <laughs> did. <laughs> and I was alone. <coughs> <coughs> you were all together. In green chair. In the gym. Between when we were on the ship and you were in the mine, were you, what happened? I was running from some kind of, it sounded big, like a dragon. dragon. Oh wow. And it was, it was loud. And, um, and then there were several orbs and uh, I may have touched one. How many orbs? What color was the orb? Gold. And how many other were there? Two. So a total of three. Yes. And you touched the gold one. Yes. It was, there were a lot, there were like lines that were sort of rush, rushing toward it. And I, I, I was panicking because there was a, a giant thing behind me. What happened when you touched the orb? I don't know. Apparently I lost consciousness because I don't remember anything else after that. So the next thing you remember is waking up in the cargo hold. No. There was a uh, there there was more after that, but it it, it was like a weird dream. Uh, I could I expand. I, I I don't know. There was an orb, and I was trying to hit it. I check his eyes. Can I do a medicine check to see if he's concussed? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> uh, is that a seven or a one? That's a seven. Uh, Fourteen. Uh, yeah, you're pretty sure he is. <laughs> it, it didn't you seem like just a dream. Rest a moment. <laughs> it didn't seem like a dream. At least not all of it. Do we actually think we've somehow? Traveled back in time. No. There's only one way to be sure. I think I. I, I really do. Ask, I really think you should uh, rest a moment. I, think, I mean, we saw ourselves. Yeah, I, I don't like, foresee that we're just in the orb because the dragon took off. I think he somehow used him. somehow. Yeah, I think whatever happened, he somehow got out. Does that mean which this, is his goal? Does that mean the gem is useless now? Is no, it I mean, empty? it's still powerful. I, the rods are still attuned to it. But it might the rods are attuned to it because that's what they do. Magical. Perception check from Pearl, please. Oh, Jaren, oh, yo. I missed father. My dad. My father. How does that work, exactly? <laughs> well, you see, when a man loves a woman. <laughs> 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 okay, Bard. The most Bard response. <laughs> no, Jaren, your father, did you... You didn't recognize him as your father when you saw him. No. my To my knowledge, I thought he was my uncle. My father, I thought, was dead. Or had been since I was young, before I could remember. From all I know, that has been my uncle for my all the time. So you have known your uncle to be this man. You've not known your father. He, he presumably died. Where's... I'm sorry, it's so personal. It's just that he's very involved now. Where's your mother? I mean, I... I don't... I don't where's my mom? <laughs> uh, I don't um, what did I do with her? <laughs> you lived in... We lost um, her. You know, Shoot. a smaller village. Right, I don't know what it was called. South of Greenshire. So wait. But it was—it doesn't matter. It was an unremarkable village outside of Greenshire. You were raised by s my mother. siblings who turned no. out to be what? your mother and father. What? <laughs> my mom. I was raised by my mom. And your uncle. You he was around. Sometimes we would visit him and in he, Greenshire. He right. ran the but inn. But he was he your claims to mother's be your brother, brother, your father's brother. He, he always claimed to be my uncle. 
On which side? So this is in a loose. No, that's my brother. Loose. My father is made brother. It pretty clear. But your father Mom doesn't is human, exist. Dad he is, is my father. If he's your uncle, the only person you could uncle. be related to would be your mother. Rick and Kaius. Because I'm just struggling. He claimed to be ridiculous. my father's <laughs> brother. Which father exactly? My father. All right, we might. As interesting as this conversation is, you know that sandstorm that hit us last time. It's coming. <laughs> So while we're in the we boat, while well, we're in the boat, if we get we to the need ground, to get to land and, we can and flip put the, the boat. Bo- hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then we will get continue us. this conversation <laughs> under the boat. How close are we to land? Uh, you're about uh, three quarters of the way there now. Three quarters. I'm. So how, high how, high up? how high is it? Uh, it's about. <laughs> is this gonna be a hard landing? Hundred feet. Yeah. Oh, we can't do that. No, this is going to be a hard <laughs> landing <laughs> or a soft landing. I mean, I guess we're going to try to get there as, clo- as fast as we can, but we can't make it go any faster than it is. And can I, can, how many feet can y'all take? When we're like 30 feet up, I can just rip the stone out, the feather fall token? I mean, we could also just tie the rope off, let it dangle, and slide down. But we need the boat for coverage, probably. The boat will we also don't want to get hit by the boat as it's coming That's down fair. That would kind of suck. No, we'll just have to we'll be on amazing it. amazing feet of sheer stupidity. <laughs> 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 You've survived so much. Yeah. <laughs> Run yourselves over with Yeah, the who runs themselves over with their own vehicles? Oh. Especially when it's like feather falling. It's not even falling. I it's love you, Rachel. Not it's like, even funny. <laughs> I love you. Dink. <laughs> <laughs> so slow. Oh, we're 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 getting we're getting. Yeah. But yeah, like wires are getting crossed. We're getting this is so here. weird. So many things are happening. I don't want us to have gone back in time. It's so weird, and I have no I idea what's happening. Stop that now. <sighs> Too late. DM, will you let us know as soon as we're either hit by the sandstorm or we make land? Um. Sure, yeah, we can say that uh, you guys actually, um, we can say that you guys actually land now. The storm is maybe uh, 30 seconds away. What and do uh, what do you guys want to do? What, what do we see boat? around us? Um, the, there's the boat. Uh, do investigation checks. Yeah. But, uh, are they going to be looking for survivors and be like, oh, look, those are the crazy people that jumped off the ship? 19. Oh, that's a no, solid No, those point. people are running away. <laughs> We're different crazy people that jumped off the ship. But we look slightly different because we're dressed different. <laughs> exactly. Just very slightly different. 13. They would also be um, looking at the other end of the ship. What were we there. rolling? Investigation. Five. 19. Yeah, so Shadow's the only one who sees it. Uh, there's uh, about uh, 50 yards away. Uh, you're pretty sure the land goes down. And there's like a ridge. So you're thinking maybe this is a crevice, maybe you can get down underneath, you know. Um, that or the boat. I mean, the boat could be flipped over. I'm going to run over there and in. check before I say anything. Okay, Shadow runs off. Where are you going? I, I have a hunch. <laughs> I think I see somewhere you're we can stay. You're running towards the storm, it's and fine. it is going to reach you sooner. Uh, but as you get closer to that, you have this moment before everything gets hit with it. Uh, you see a dry creek bed, uh, what you'd assume, an ancient creek bed, and it goes down about uh, 10, 12 feet. Is there any, does it look like there's any, like, is that helping from the sandstorm at all? Yeah, I mean, it, so, kind of like, over it. Dried creek yeah, bed, you yeah, know. it goes over it, uh, the sandstorm hits you, and, and shadows swallowed by the sandstorm. All right, I'm going to head back towards them now. Okay. So, uh, are you running faster than a sandstorm? That's the question of the day. I mean, the I'm definitely not, but I'm still gonna make, no. make my way back to them and say, hey, this we, is I take, awesome. like, cloak and try to cover, like, mouth and nose. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And right. get that rope out and, like, everybody grab on. Yeah. And we'll try to... So you're running full force and you hit this rope and... <laughs> 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 you definitely pull Renya and Jern and <laughs> 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 ah, <laughs> So yeah, you can guide people. There's a ridge over here. We don't even need to flip the boat. You we can bring we it can with find us. It. Right, let's yes. leave the boat. And if hide. I just turn around and walk straight. Okay, mm-hmm. let's go. Yeah, so let's I'm gonna go. turn around and walk yeah, straight back to where I was. Yeah. 
Okay. I don't like any of this. So you head on like over, it. and uh, yeah, you guys are now in a dry creek bed. There's a sandstorm raging over you, and uh, occasionally wisps come on down in. Um, and uh, you guys can set up camp here for the night if you'd like. Um, if uh, everyone can do a nature check since you were all falling together um, and where you were at before previously, Whoops, where you are now. Um, I'm rolling so good today. <laughs> can I use the net 20 that I got <laughs> before? No, you cannot use <laughs> other, other pearls that way. <laughs> Not letting you. 19. 16. 19. 13. Okay, so. Renya and so um, uh, Jaren are pretty certain that you've gone southwest of Karak. You've actually managed Perfect. because you know you're traveling at a slower speed of descent. Um, you actually managed to go further away, especially since you left the boat er after. Okay, so we're southwest of earlier. Okay. Level to you. I don't like it. Do you guys share that with the party? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, um, this is not been a lot. Are we, so we're like. I'm gonna make a fire. <coughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and like make a small little campfire. Renya seems to be getting some catharsis from gathering the dry creek bedwood and yeah, setting fire. it on fire. Uh -huh. Yeah? What was the town that we're southwest from? Carrot. The Carrot. one where we the found, one um, yeah. And friends. the fresh cup in and the... Nora and all them. Penny and... <sighs> well, <laughs> good news is, we're still heading towards the Great Waste. So that's nice. That's good. You guys know, um, and I'll, I'll give this to Renya and Jaren, uh, that um, north of you is um, Boston. Uh, that's P.W. Boston. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I did not realize the phonetic similarity Boston? to Boston <laughs> until I said it out sure. loud. It is Pwop. <laughs> Sounds like you're making fun of someone with a Boston accent. <laughs> We're going to Boston. <laughs> no, it's, it's Boston. P.W. What? P.W.A.S.T.E. at Boston. Is where? Is <laughs> north, it's north of you. But Why south are they famous of, for the clam uh, chowder? South of Karak? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <Australia>. <laughs> it would have been, it would have been, <laughs> it would be northwest of Karak. Um, it's built, it's a fairly large city in Sarabia. It's built around an oasis. Um, and, and it is there, uh, being north, north, it's directly north of you. Um, it's really hard to guys. <laughs> uh, you would know that you could probably send a message fairly quickly from this city if you wanted to contact anyone. Okay? There are messaging services in the size of a city. The opposite direction, though. It's the gray ways. It's about a day's we're, journey north. We're, yeah. He said he, we were south. <coughs> we, he said he, we landed south. South. I thought you said Karak. we landed southwest. Southwest of Karak. Yeah. yeah. You are directly south of... Boston. Which is <laughs> northwest. Boston. Karak, which makes sense. Just throwing it out there. <clears throat> Do I know um, how far, how long it would take to get there? You Day's would journey. estimate about a day's journey. We also have now doubled our chances of being caught by people searching for us from, mm -hmm. from the, the, the evil prince guy and his shenanigans. How have huh? we doubled the chances of us? Because now there are two chances. sets of us. Yeah, but they're looking for the other set. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? The, That's the ones they had eyes on, is it do not? You, I, I think they don't have eyes on them anymore, and they're going to find whichever one they come across first. Jaren, your... They'd already jumped off mm -hmm. the ship. Father. Mm -hmm. Saying. Um, he was... He's crazy now. Yeah, I'm or he's sorry. always been kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah that's fine. That's he's probably around here somewhere. Thing to unpack, 
I wish there was time to process all this. There's not. He wanted the dragon stone. Did he mm -hmm. say why? He, he wanted, uh, wanted to wield it. He said we didn't know what we were doing and that he knows its power and can wield it and wants to wield it. Did Maybe he, he was just going to use Did it to propose to his sister. You know what, Norin? Um, you should take a nap. <laughs> on the best of days, Before you get you're not very nice, and um, you just need to take a minute. Take a minute. Take a beat. Take a beat. It's all very stressful. It's been very stressful. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anyone can insight check what Norin had said earlier, by the way. Um, about what? <clears throat> About what Norin said, what earlier? All inside check, and I feel like 16. I get advantage. Yeah. I know him the best. Go for it. <laughs> really, with advantage? Yeah, sure. Hi, so nice. Are you inside checking? I don't even know. Wait, what about? Uh, I don't know something that Norin said. Yeah. <laughs> What's What'd you roll? What's your <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you roll? A seven and a three. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I, mean, I know you, it so you just well. Let it go, but like Pearl's like cogitating on double the chances, and then you're like, we didn't get caught before. We didn't double the chances. You're not like, gonna get caught, right? Oh. Like the old versions didn't get caught, <laughs> unless you screw up what they were doing. Well, uh, the reason I was saying that was just because uh, those the the people coming down from the boat are. They're actively searching. They don't know where either. Where they don't know where. It, so where what they are. Pearl thinks is this has already happened and they failed to find you. But we've before. introduced more variables into the situation. But what yeah. Pearl thinks is what. Yeah, what Pearl thinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I think anymore. Okay, buddy. <laughs> you. I mean, so there's so many variables. Hazil wants the stone. Your dad wants the stone. We may have released a dragon from the stone. Does he want the stone? Or from whatever ago wants all the stones. Well, he wants us to destroy <coughs> them, right? The professor. We need, we need to go home. Maybe we should but ask Haggard. Isn't the professor also? You're really not yourself, Nora. <laughs> you what not. about caution and concern and... Speaking of caution and concern, should we put the stone inside of a box? Maybe inside we, of another box? Inside we don't of another have box? And put that box, box in the box and we ship that <laughs> box ourselves and we smash it with that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I would like to also point out that I did recommend that all the way back. I know, yeah. we don't have anything. You're very we smart. We don't have anything. Good job. Yes. We don't have anything. Okay, this, this well, town... Worried. We need to buy a box. There's a town north a of us. A lead box if possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. I suggest we go there. We can all send messages. What town was that? Post. Boston. <laughs> <laughs> I do think we still need to head back to the Grey Waste. I'm, I, I'm, I was fine with that shadow, and I'm still sort of fine with it. But this is bigger than us. This is, we have to alert. Also, what about the, the people who have more power than us? You're right, because what just happened won't sound crazy to anyone. My aunt would believe anything I said. Doesn't your so aunt have your another aunt? one of these things? The dwarf guy said that there was another he one. He said in there was Slytherin. in silver. Sil <laughs> in silver. <laughs> in silver. I don't know what he's talking about. If my aunt had one of these. Maybe she knows about it. I think I would know. Maybe she's hiding Maybe it. Maybe she's just tell you. You know, our relatives can be kind of crazy sometimes. You know, like, I think I that's have a, a lesson learned today. Perfectly functional family. Oh, that's what you think. Not what I've heard. <laughs> What have you heard? <laughs> rocking back and forth, <laughs> chuckling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, surely we, we've all heard. Oh, my parents Wait, and my aunt <laughs> are perfectly so sane, and nothing that my aunt has experienced makes her less of an equipped leader. Wait, what? Do you have tea? <laughs> <laughs> for the party for all of us? <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> I do think there's something to be said. Do you think your monastery can even handle all this? If we converge all of these powers on them, how would they defend it? I think they have a better chance than a nation that wants to use it for something. Our whole goal is to protect and or destroy it. We have no idea what Silvern wants with it. I'm just what being are honest you insinuating? here. insinuating? Who has the gem, by the way? Pearl. Mm. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it was necessary. 
What did you roll to get like sucked into it? Was it a con save? Because uh, <laughs> we just got sucked into it. He didn't roll anything. He just fell yeah, asleep. He touched it. Is the issue? Yeah. Well, no, I got. I I failed. I failed a Constitution save. Yeah. yeah. Every yeah. night. We should probably mm-hmm. bury it. At night when we sleep. Yeah. So that the cat. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. We do need to sleep. We do need to rest. I don't. Shadow, if we went there, would they be able to send messages? Do you have. What? Actually, yes. can I send a message at level 3? I'm not going to get that I mean, until 5. five. We, <laughs> of course, we have ways with communicating with our cloisters everywhere. If we want to go to this town, that's fine. I'm just saying, sending out word of something that we don't actually have confirmation of that is pretty wacky, even to us who just experienced it, I think it's going to cause more mass chaos and confusion than it's going to help. I can send a discreet message. The world is ending. Stop. Please keep it under your hat. Stop. (laughs) (laughs) But what good do you actually foresee that doing? She might have information to help us. She Ooh, might be know. able to send... Didn't you send a message Eight. to her in the past, though? No! They didn't have any way... That the rinky-dink town girl oh, had no okay. way of sending any I'm messages! Sorry. I tried so hard! I'm sorry. I just wanted to double-check. <laughs> Sounds like somebody needs a nap. <laughs> we all need different rest. to send a message than it is to wait for a message to come back. What if we? One is what easy if, and quick. The other is a lot more dangerous and takes a lot longer. What if you send a message discreetly? You're you may also be wanted. Keep that in mind. Um, we're we're not in friendly territory. I think we're all wanted. <laughs> yes, but she's a little more high profile than the rest of us. Mm-hmm. That's like the so, ambassador. Right. Mm-hmm. So if you send a message discreetly, where are you going to tell them to send a message back to you? Magically, directly to me. My mm, aunt has right, that yeah. ability. Mm, sure. Well, literally, she does. She's a cleric. <laughs> 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 right? DM? She has magic. I mean, okay. Yes, you're so aunt. No She's w- totally not your mother or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but she could be. You never know. I was raised by two loving parents. <laughs> She's my first character without a tragic... Well, never mind. So even if, <laughs> even if a message to her was to be intercepted, it wouldn't give away our position, per se. No, no, we don't have to give away our position. She can just communicate with you. She should have means, or at least I can warn her if this, I have a responsibility to my people. I think we all can agree on that. If there's a stone there, she needs to be warned. Whatever's tracking this one and us will track the others. I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe you're right. So maybe we send a message and then also head to the Grey Waste, because clearly those in the monastery know about this. I and also buy a box. <laughs> yes, I and also box. buy a box. And they're probably yeah, more neutral. Yes. And Don't you feel strongly about this with your allegiances to I your I don't king? have allegiances anymore. What? I did my duty, and I've kind of... I mean, I, I had my personal mission of trying to find out what happened to the people. And okay. Okay. I don't okay. have a okay. strong patriotism. I just don't I, know that heading straight for your homeland right now would be the best. No, option. and I don't want to bring all the trouble to the doorstep either. Okay. So, okay. I send a message and then we head to the Grey Waste? Pustin. Pustin. But, first off is sleep time. And... Who is taking first watch? Me. <laughs> All right. I cannot sleep right now. I'll stay up with her too. I swear. Right. Let's, Let's, do Let's do it in rounds of two. Yeah. Okay. And then me and Jaren. Okay. And Norin gets a full eight hours because he's concussed. He's crazy. Yeah. He's yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. <sighs> yeah. That's a lot that just happened to you. I feel like yeah. you'd be emotionally stressed and damaged. So, the night yeah. wears on, the storm wears out guys are sleeping and taking watches and snake oil salesman appears <laughs> no <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you hear owls <laughs> no, 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 no 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 um we cut away thousands and thousands of miles 
to a edifice, a stony, massive jut out of the land where mountains and clouds are drifting past below, and there is this, um, like, ancient ruin of a, of a castle, and uh, there's a man in a very uh, dark suit and black hair, grayish skin. He's stepping past the ruins and walking, and he goes in and up the stairs and walks to... Uh, a hin, like a door that is barely hanging onto a hinge, uh, and he pushes it open, and there is just a ruined, like, study area that is just eaten away by time and wear and tear and storms and just disaster. And he will sweep all this stuff off this table, brush the dust away from all these symbols and, and, uh, ancient carvings into this marble etched surface and uh, he will <clears throat> like weave the air around and this green uh, like sparkling light will come out of his fingertips and for a moment his fingers look reptilian as the table surface comes to life and like <sighs> mists blow away and he is watching you two chatting as the rest of the party sleeps. And tight. he smiles, rubs his hands together. And that is where we will go ahead and end it. 